Welcome to RC Cars The Movie, which is actually a recap video from the year 2022, part two. Part number one already released. I'm going to put a link to that up there, also a link down below and a link to the end screen. So go and watch that one first if you haven't seen it. We've got the sausage, the world's longest RC car. Been building race buggies. My best year ever. We got my lifelong dream. The monster truck completed, test driven. And I've also done my first show. Here we are, first location. It's impressive, isn't it? Very. Get there in a minute. Come on. <laughs> So the engine is so loud and deafening, so I'm handing out some earplugs. <laughs> <laughs> We got a fuel shortage in the UK. We cannot get any fuel anywhere, but we want to go and bash. Fucking all. Is that going to work, in Andy? Probably not, but we'll give it a go. Go on, then. Shove him in, boy. Sucking that bottle down, boy. We got our own petrol station. Better like um, um, olive oil instead, Kev. Oh, that'd be expensive. a premium, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's premium. I've let it, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Next location, we're going to the sand area, and then if it survives, we're gonna hit skate park. It's running good, boys. Look what? at that. Oh, cocaine got... oil on the go. Got... No fuel crisis for us, ladies and gentlemen. Good job. Good job. Hey, got a crew in the house. Yeah, Mr. Robert, you got it. Okay. Oh, we got the, the engine expert here, look. Prepared. <laughs> give it, give it a well, smell, see if it's the right mixture. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. It's going to go off, isn't it? Oh, 
How can an RC be so much fun? What is your expert opinion of the laminator, people? Steve? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah? I'm impressed now it's got more. Oomph. Do you like the noise? I don't mind it. Do you want to go? No. <laughs> What's going on over here? Surgery. Who broke that? The so I broke it, Ian's fixing it, and Dave supplied the parts. <laughs> Teamwork. And I'm just watching and learning. <laughs> It's like the best toy ever. Why well, everyone should be like over the moon. Oh, so next, I think we're gonna have a race. So who's racing? Yeah, everyone's racing. Line them up, people. We got the Lossy Five. We got the Mojave. We got X Max and Raminator. Ready, steady, go!
Right, my drive's gone. Yeah. I think we've killed it. Uh, it's, it's normally, oh, shock's leaking a bit. Look there, the wonky. Yeah. In there, yeah. There's some diff cups and they yeah. always break off. That's probably what happened. And I've got, actually, I've got some heavy duty prototype ones. We're going to chuck them on. <laughs> yes. yes. Look at that stem plane with his X Max down there. Massive. Have you got yours done? <laughs> That's what RC is all about. Oh, should have fucked out a bit, man. What are you doing, Mitchell? Nailed it, yes. Something's jamming up in the transmission somewhere, guys. Oh, that's twisting. Look at that. So we're gonna get it back to the shop. Take it apart, see what's wrong with it, fix it, then skate park. Oh no. <laughs> Here we have an Audi R8 radio controlled car. Check it out, guys. Problem is, there's actually nothing inside it. So here we have some inside. See. Oh, check it out, guys. We have a powerful brushless motor. So now, all that we have to do is get this body on wheels, fit it onto there, and hopefully it's gonna work. All right, here we go. Oh, God, that drive's lovely. <laughs> so next, let's go racing. All right, so here we are yeah, on nice. location. Gonna win. A man of hidden talents. Bloody hell. In this video, we're gonna be putting together this super realistic Dodge Hellcat RC car. Here we got the body, here we got the chassis. So this body is actually made to fit the four-wheel drive Mini Z chassis. One of these ones there. But subscribe. Smash the bell so you don't miss it. These are the rear-wheel drive wheels that came from the Audi R8 body, but the Audi R8 is supposed to be a four-wheel drive car in real life, but this is supposed to fit a two-wheel drive chassis. So these here are actually the Audi R8 wheels, and they fit on there perfectly. Oh, guys, the wheel nut fell on the floor. It could have gone absolutely anywhere. Oh, yes! Boom! So now, hopefully, the body's gonna fit. Oh, boom! Check that out, guys, it fits perfectly. Who's gonna win? Uh, well, me, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Kev's in the lead. You meant to make it look more difficult than that. <laughs> So when I was a kid, this was my dream RC car. Trouble is, I didn't have much money and I couldn't afford it. So I saved up for a couple of years and then I bought this instead, the Tamiya Manta Ray. But now that I'm a little bit older, now I can afford one. So we've bought one, we're gonna put it together and then we're gonna take it out for a rip and see what I was missing out on when I was 10 years old. So the Manta Ray is more of like a beginner RC car, plastic tub chassis, plastic shock towers, the Top Force Evolution. It's based on the Manta Ray, but it's got a few goodies. So let's stop waffling, get it unboxed, get it built, and then take it out for a rip. Yes. Oh, look at that. We've got a pre-painted body, wheels, tires, more stuff, more stuff, more stuff, more stuff, and a box of more goodies. 
Oh, look, here we have the carbon fibre chassis. It's still got the imprints here, look, when people used to run those saddle packs. Nowadays, we use lipos. Alloy shock bodies. Ball differentials by the looks of it. Even comes with a motor. Look at that. How cool does that look? Right, let's start off with the build. Safety, we don't need any of that. Right, section A, number one. I tell you what, guys, back in the day, this was half the fun. It was saving up for it, looking forward to it. Then you get all these little bags, you've got to put it all together. And then finally, you get the finished car and you take it out for a rip. Don't get me wrong, it is cool getting a ready-to-run car and just letting it rip straight out of the box. But it's definitely something special about having to build it yourself. The other side. Boom! Check it out, guys. There we have my childhood dream RC car. All we gotta do now, get the battery in, turn the radio on, and see if it works. Yes! All right, here we are on location, and it's all very professional. So in the end, we came in at sixth place in the B final, which puts us in at round about number 13th out of 30 cars, which for an old, old car, isn't really that bad. So Dave lent me a set of these last time we had it out and they actually held together a lot better. And they've got loads more grip. But they still kind of expanded a little bit and when that happens, you run the risk of doing this. What happens, the wheels are spinning around so fast that all that centrifugal force, it just blows the rubber straight off of the wheel. So Aaron said to me, get some Gorilla tape and put it on the inside of the tyres and that should hold it all together. So I've gone round there two times. Next, we have to fit the new wing. Check it out guys, these new tyres make it look wicked! Bash time! Oh, what's David done? Broke it! Oh, could be worse! Could be mine! What tyres have you lot got? Straight in with my Harvey chassis. Look at the weather! It's beautiful! That's annoying hard for. So wheel nut here just gonna be Oh, it's still on there. Oh, oh the pin's gone. What? Oh look he found it! <laughs> that was like a needle in a haystack. <laughs> Hold on dude. Alright, we'll get this thing back together again, then we'll carry on. Got Revo Pit crew in the house, how you doing mate? Yeah, brilliant mate. <laughs> nice stuff Back in action! Thanks pit crew. What's going on there? It's probably came out. Feel a bit. What's wrong with it? It feels like it's a bit tight, doesn't it? Uh, got expert RS mark in the house. Well, that, what? Bolt, that bolt is hitting the pin, see? see? Oh, so what do I have to do? Tighten that bolt up. All right, we'll take it apart, get it on the bench. Oh. We've got the pin coming out there, it's catching on there, and I don't know how that's supposed to be held in. Get rid of that, we don't need all this 
booster. Oh. Can I get another half? Yeah. Get it fixed if it's home with boss. It's got a crack in there and that's come loose, but we'll be able to temporarily get it going and I think we'll probably save it for the skate park, I reckon. <laughs> We've got brushless versus petrol. Off for the Americans, gasoline. <laughs> it's not sounding healthy though. I don't know how long it's going to last. Ready, steady, go. Oh, we're off. Oh, there's contact. We have contact. How are we actually doing, too? Uh, it's got no steering. I don't know what's going on with it. Oh! Oh, we lost. Alright, next location. Over here we have Skate of the Park. Oh! oh, oh no! I was hoping we'd get through that. Oh no, look at it. Oh, oh that was vicious. The bit we was aiming for was this bit. So we look inside if you broke anything by hitting that. That thing. It all good. Didn't do anything. That was nasty. Skater just turned up. Next location. <laughs> we are coming to a fresh location. Actually, a better location for you guys, this one. Oh, that's gone. I thought it was going to go in there. I'm still going, though. Oh, my God. Oh, it's falling. What are they doing? Oh, it's all falling to bits. No. No. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh. Oh, that's the parts. All right, we got that. Let's get it now. Game over. So this is a question I get asked all the time. Is the brand new version two slightly bigger Traxxas Max worth getting over the older version one? All right, here we are on location. We're gonna get a couple of laps out of them and see which one is faster. I'm guessing probably that one. All right, let's go. All right, we'll get a couple of laps out of it and we'll see which one's faster. So next, we're gonna go for the version two. I'm guessing the longer wheel base is gonna make it quicker. Ready, steady, go. This one definitely feels more lively. It's probably because of like, the bigger tires. There we go. All right, skate park. Here we are, next location. Look at that brand new skate park. So guys, that one with the green tape, this is the version one. This one is the version two, the longer one. So you can tell the difference when we're at a bit of a distance. All right, let's go. Here we got a bowl. Straight away, we're just gonna give up with that. We're gonna volunteer to get it. There he goes. Thank you. No more GoPro footage. We'll have a little play with both of them. Then we're gonna send both of them to the moon and see which one goes higher. Fine. 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 Fine.
Right, there we go. We're going to go for high jump. We're going to take a run up from over there, flat out, hit that, see how high it goes, and then we're going to try it with the version two. <laughs> How high did we get? So you go stop, read. What? Martin? <laughs> Why'd it say zero? You didn't go that high, did you? I really want to stick. Oh, they've gone. Oh. All right, so we cannot get that working. Martin's got one, so Martin's going to go and get his one, and then we're going to try again. Now, number two. So there's Martin's phone and okay. Martin's GPS. Oh, yeah, so it's recording on there. And yeah. zero. Oh. All right, well, we're going to send it to the moon anyway, and then you guys in the comments will have to guess which one went higher. Let's have a little bit more fun with this one, and then we'll get out the version two. Oh, tumble hook. Oh. <laughs> oh, what's he doing? That's the point, actually. Let's try a fun flip. Oh, on the head. It's all right, which tracks is tough. Oh! Oh my God! Jesus! Oh, where'd I come from? I think they might be going to the moon over there. Jesus! Look at that elevation. Mini Max would never go that high. All right, next big team, version two. This one's definitely a lot more stable, but it's not quite as nimble. Oh, what's it doing? You know what you got to do? Finish it! Oh, we're not going to get the landing. We've got Iris Mark in the house. He's never cameraman before, so it's his first go. Best driver at Ark. Oh. We're going to hit that flat out. Yeah. We'll try one more, because I didn't quite get full speed out of it. Mini Max loves it. So this Mini Max is a lot more stable, but not quite as nimble. So they're both fun, they're just different. Mm. Right, so guys, I'll just turn off the camera, I weren't filming, but what did you do, Craig? Oh, <laughs> it landed on that. You're good at changing them, aren't you? That's only took the prop out. <laughs> Oh, I'm still going. Anyway, we are now clear on this ramp and we can try the challenge where we've got to try and take off on that one and land on that one. Maybe it's not doable. It needs to come back on itself, doesn't it? Ah, ram it. Hey! Before the next location, check this out. Look, we can two wheel it on X Max. Ready? <laughs> Martin's going to go stupidly high now. Martin's Typhoon with Mojave chassis. Oh my god! Oh! Here we are! On location! So we're gonna do a quick speed run here, and then we're gonna do a hill climb, and we're also gonna do the staircase of doom. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we are set at zero mile an hour. How fast are we gonna go? 45. 45? Hey! It's gotta do more than that, innit? 46. What's the cameraman reckon? I'm going with 60. 60? Alright, let's do it. Full speed! Whoa! Oh! 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 Tumble, tumble! Right, what we got? What we got? What we got? Oh! 53! All very professional, isn't it? This? <laughs> is it? No. How do you what you're filming with? So, this is what we're filming with iPhone. <laughs> What do you like, reckon? I'm going to go with 60 this time. 64. 54. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, Cameraman's oh. fault. What we got? What we got? What we got? Oh, 49. What was the last one? 49. 49. Next location. Next, we have the staircase of doom for the short one. <laughs> Let's try it a bit faster. Ready, 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 ready. Oh, oh my God! Is it still alive? Yes, it's still alive. Standing backflip. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, oh no! The rival might be dead before it's even unboxed. All right, next to victim. Big boy, here you come. Here we go, slowly first. So this one definitely feels a little bit more stable. But now, let's try it again with a little bit more speed. Don't break. Oh! Can this one do a standing backflip? Oh! No, we have things over here that we don't want to break. Cameras, uh, laminators would be fine. New plane, definitely don't want to break this new car. Well, uh, 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 X Max already broken. Next, we have the hill climb. So, most crawlers, they should be able to crawl at least 45 degree minimum, in my opinion, to be classed as a crawler. So, let's see if the Minimax, the short one, can get up it. Oh, easy. Let's up it up a little bit. Let's go with 55. Oh, still does it. Yes. Oh. So, there's not many crawlers. I think that one did it. That one did it. And that one did it. It's got a lot of upgrades on there to get the central gravity down. They can get up onto there. So, let's see if the Minimax can do it. Come on, Minimax. Come on, Minimax. You can do it. Oh. Can you do it, Minimax? Can you get on that bench? Oh, come on, you must be able to do it. More power. <laughs> yes. Next. So we're going to start off on 55 degrees this time. Can it do it? Probably. It's going to be easy. Oh, it's actually struggling. Ah. So the old one can actually get up steeper. Wonder why that is. Might be because the centre diff is looser in that one. Watch. More power. Oh! 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 Wow. Well, cameras are fine. <laughs> Plane's fine. We still got to fly that to get a video done. Bigger Mini Max is fine too. So which one's best? I don't know guys, it's a tough one. The small one is a little bit more nimble. The longer one is a little bit more stable, a little bit faster. But which one's best? I suppose it's whichever one puts a bigger smile on your face. And for me, it was pretty even actually. So let me know in the comments guys, which one do you prefer? This is the world's longest RC car. And in the last video, we made it out of two RC cars and a snowboard. And guys, it went really well. A lot better than expected. So today, I want to take it racing. I want to see how well it can do against some proper RC cars on the racetrack. Then in a future video, we want to speed it up. We want to put bigger motors in and I want to send it to the moon, see how far we can jump it, how high we can jump it, how fast we can make it go off-road. Uh, all right, enough waffle, blah, 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 let's go. Don't look like old cars, Kevin. <laughs> you racing, Owen? Yeah. Any more contenders? What's Martin got? Martin's got a, let's have a look in there. What you got, mate? You're running 6S, MCD'd up, and a Flyer ESC. You're going to win. Yeah. Yes. Martin says he's going to win, but we have that, so probably not. But so Aaron has got that, a DBXL. What have you got? He's got the long wheel base. What do you call it? Jalave. Jalave, whatever that is. So who's is that? Is that yours? My X-Max. So he's got an X-Max. <laughs> oh, we've got Nitro. Ready, steady, go! <laughs>
Oh, we have we have damage. It's not sounding too healthy. Oh no, look. Oh, we've got damage in there. Finish it. <laughs> oh no. That killed another armor off. So here we are back in the shop and we're going to take it out again in a minute in this video but we've got to do some maintenance so here i snapped off a screw that holds the motor in in a future video we're going to fit two of these these are hobby wing max 5 combos so uh, we're going to get that bolt out now ready we need a new pin to put in the back there we need some hinge pin braces there to put on and a new drive shaft for the front i'm too lazy to take this off and the screw went in at an angle and now You've murdered it. Yeah, got loads of extra work. Right, so we have these easy outs. So the idea is, is you screw that into there. Backwards. Coming out. Is it coming out? It's coming out. It is on. I told you to drill it with my position. Is it actually coming out? Yep. Really? Yep. Oh, look at that. That saved us so much work. Look how proud he looks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look at the proudness. Oh, the proudness. <laughs> if you was a girl, I'd kiss you. <laughs> <laughs> I might kiss him anyway. Oh, <laughs> oh, that was legit. Nice one. Look at that. Right, okay, so we're not going to put the new motor in there in this video. In this video, I want to send it to the moon and do some other stuff. In a future video, we're going to put in some big motors. Right, so next project, we got to change... Should we do the back end first? We've got to get the whole back end here off to get at that. You cracked it. Oh, dear. Out on me. Right, you're in control of that, then. Oh, boy, I was in the wrong place. I was against the motor. Better from this side. Go on, then. You can get yoga. Yoga, yoga. So, front one. <laughs> oh no! You did two of your water. Oh, oh, oh no, don't put it, don't put it. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Animal. Oh, that's better. Oh, so next, we got to get these out. I hate working on these cars. Uh, a new pin. What the hell is going on? I'll tell you what, X Maxes are 10 times easier to work on. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Oh, is that why it went? Maybe. Ah. Oh. Does that mean bulkhead? Yeah. Oops. You don't get this problem with X Maxes at all, ever. It did that just by revving up the wheel and that blowing off. Whoops. I've never had that problem with any other RC car, only with Armour Payton. But I think to get longer screw, we've got to drill it out. Might drill into the diff. <laughs> yep, yeah, I had to drill into the diff, just the wheels move. <laughs> Alright. Is it going to leak now? Look, that's the size of the screw that came out. And that's what we're going to put in there. All right. Yeah, top middle one. Yes. Go. Make it faster. So next, we've got to put the drive shaft back in, and then we're back in action. All right, so here's why I don't put oil in my drive shafts. People always tell me I should oil them up. Look at that. We've got a whole load of sand in there. And all that sand in there now, with it all stuck to it, it acts like a grinding paste. It's going to wear it all away. So there we go. I'm going to run it dry. I think it's going to last longer being like that. Pass that bit. Ah, come on. Next location. Here we are on location, and for some reason, all the crew have parked all the way down there. Got a little bit more crew over here. Hello. <laughs> Out with you. You know that episode of Top Gear where Clark's yeah. 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 I think say that Clark's and Clark. Yeah. yeah. Everybody in the comments says that. Hey, look, we got eight in the house. Yeah. Yeah. We got Dave over there making a the back here. But we can bully him. We're bigger. Ooh. I'm bigger than you. Jumps and stuff, we'll have a look at them too. 
Oh, Dave got me a little while ago. Got loads of sand in my face. We've got to get revenge on him. So we're going to wait for an opportunity when he's wrenching on it. We're going to have him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so what you got here then, Dave? Got a lossy 5T filled oh. with sand. Oh, got a new engine in there. Sumba, samba up, whatever that's, that is. Was it Samba, Sumba? Samba, I think. Are you going to win? Of course I am. What are you racing? You're racing uh, Mini Max. I've got my new Mini Max. He's got his new Mini Max there. Brand spanking new. Hey, Steve is running his Savage. Savage with a brand new body. That's looking good. What have you got over there? He's got an armor big rock. Dad over there, he's got his E-Revo. Uh, he's, got, he's, got, he's got the ump because he just melted an X-Max motor. <laughs> <laughs> Line them up, boys. Oh, where's mine going? Ready, ready, go! Look at that! Look at that! Who's the daddy? <laughs> I'm sorry. What do you want, man, two? You've got no hope, Dave. So David reckons he's got a chance. I don't. Are you ready then, Dave? All right, ready, steady, go! Oh. you got no hope, mate. you got no hope. Look, we're gone. Oh! What do you reckon happen if that gets your foot? I reckon it would cut it off. <laughs> Amputation. That little thing moves. What is it, Steve? Uh, so there was a video of that actually putting it together on this channel from probably about three years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a while Four ago, years yeah, ago. Yeah. Running on 4S. What's he got inside it? Uh, uh, in there. Uh, 10 shot sensor. <laughs> Man, that moves! <laughs> that... <laughs> He's chucking boulders at me and he goes everywhere. Look at that. And the thing just ate it. Guys, this thing is actually really good. What we got here? So this thing is low to the floor. It does rub on everything. <laughs> it just moves, it just goes. got it stuck let's have a look and see what it got caught on that'll do it i think anything will get stuck on that look a branch oh i ate it yeah everywhere you go with it it goes oh no oh game over Oh, it amputated itself. Oh, so have a look at that damage. What's going on? Oh, the pin's broken. Yeah. It's actually snapped the pin off. That would be an easy fix, but to fix it, we've got to take the whole car off of the snowboard, all those screws, and then I think we have to modify this in the future and have it so that we can take these blocks off without having to take the whole thing apart. It, oh my God, we can't carry this a mile. I think we've got to go and get Andy. Let's go and get Andy. Here we go, oh, Andy's going to get a quick little off-road mission. The sausage has broken. Andy loves it, no problem. We made it. Oh, he's manning it. Andy for the win. I lost you as well. Alright, we've got a challenge. 
We've got to get everybody's <laughs> cars into Andy and everybody else as well. Oh dear. What do you reckon? Everyone get in there? All the people and all the cars have got to get in. <laughs> you best quickly jump in the... In, <laughs> jump in quick. <laughs> right, next. <laughs> oh, she's in. She's in. Oh, you're not bald it. Oh. Ties on and get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking snap at it to get in. Here we go. Oh, look. Look at everyone in the back. Going in that puddle. Oh. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Oh, oh. 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 Say hello to the amazing new Skeeter XP RTR from Team Corrali, an extreme 10 scale monster truck that raises the bar for durability, performance, and fun. Let me be the judge of that. Acceleration. Want to send it? Do it. Don't worry, we will. So here we have the Corrali Skeeter, which is supposed to be the best one temp scale basher. So this is my favorite one temp scale basher from Traxxas, the Traxxas Max. And this is my favorite temp scale basher from Armour. So will the Skeeter be better than these two? Is it really gonna be more durable? In this video, we're gonna find out. Check it out guys, what do you reckon? Oh look, we got a wheelie bar, so it's probably gonna have a lot of power. And straight away, I can already see, look, it's got some massive, great big wheel nuts. They're actually using some one eighth scale components. A one eighth scale car is a car much bigger, like, but oh, this one here, the Armour Outcast 6S. So one eighth scale, one tenth scale. But on this, apparently, they're using a lot of one eighth scale size parts and put it onto the smaller platform. So in theory, it's gonna be crazy durable. So underneath, we have a metal chassis, which can be good, but not always. They've sometimes got a habit of bending. And here we have a straight edge. So going through this video, we're gonna keep checking for straightness. And at the moment, look, that is absolutely perfect. Let's have a look to see what we got inside. Guys, it looks insanely beefy. It looks like it's gonna take a proper punishment. There's the motor and speed controller. Brushless, it can take 4S. Servo looks to be a decent quality. Nice big shocks. The arms all look super heavy duty. It has chassis braces absolutely everywhere to try and keep this thing straight. Look at that, we've even got a little chassis brace here going from the tower to here, and the same on the back. All the drive shafts, they look super beefy. They say it's got all this heavy duty gearing and stuff inside of it. And it reckons it can do 46 mile an hour. And we got a GPS so we can check it. The tires, they feel like they're gonna be durable. The body has these little tether retaining clip things so you don't lose your R clips. I think that's probably an idea that they got from Armour. We got this tower roll cage thing in the center. All this drive train in here, guys, that looks super. Super durable. Size wise, we're maybe a tad shorter than the armor and the Traxxas. Here we go, durability test number one. Will it take the staircase of doom? Ready, steady, go! Oh! And it went down lovely with finesse. All right, let's get it out in the real world. Here we are on location. We're going to give it a little quick around here. Then if it survives, we'll take it to some other locations too. Four West Tellergy in there. Is it going to survive? Radio on. So I think these are a little bit undergeared out the box, so it's probably gonna be a little bit slow, but we can put a big opinion on there and make it go a lot faster. But we're gonna start it off as it is out the box, and then we'll make it faster later on. Oh, 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 definitely undergeared a little bit, guys. We're going to put a big opinion on there, and then that should make it better for jumping. I was flat out there, it didn't want to pull out, it just nosedived. Oh, oh, oh. Run up all the way down there, 
hit this flat out, see what happens. It's probably going to be a bit on the slow side. I've got some big opinions. We'll chuck one on, make it go faster, and then we can do it with some proper speed. Footage. We need to find the camera person. Yeah? Yeah, I'll just quickly put the camera side, I'll do it. Oh, who's this that? Rob. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Don't be mean, I've got a bit of a soft spot for the skater. Oh, what happened? You broke your upper and lower arm. Oh, upper and lower? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Have a look, have a look at this. Oh, you cut his leg off. Oh, <laughs> right at the hip joint. It could be worse. Yeah. It could be yours. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> So here we have an RC car that's completely different to anything else that we've ever seen before. So this thing has four motors and it's got no transmission, no gears, no cog, just direct drive. Oh, check it out. Number four of 25 limited editions. Check that out, guys. The body is held on with magnets and oh, oh, oh check this out. So it's roughly the same size as an armor in fraction. Design wise, completely different. It's got a motor in each wheel. Look, one in there, one in there, and more in these ones. So a four wheel drive, four motors, no transmission. Look, there's no gearbox. If you ever look inside the armor, one motor, center transmission, drive shafts, differentials, and then more drive shafts going to the wheel. Here, None of that, just motors. No idea how good it's going to be, but I guess in this video we're going to find out. So we're going to get it set up, then we're going to take it out for a rip and see what this thing can do. So we've got double wishbone suspension, front and rear. It's got this cantilever style suspension with inboard shocks, servo under there, the control board, the brain in here which controls all the motors, carbon fibre chassis, carbon fibre suspension links, and a wooden belly and a diffuser. So by the looks of it, this wooden part here is not structural. If you look on the inside, it's actually got a carbon fibre chassis and this is just to sort of direct airflow. So next, let's plug it in and see what this baby can do. So here we have the steering from the JX EcoBoost Servo. And power. Guys, I'm only just touching the thrust to like millimeters. I think this thing's gonna rip. Oh my God! No! Oh, guys! What happened? My God, that was only about half power. Guys, this thing's gonna rip, but oh no, we slaughtered it. Oh look, there's bits everywhere. <laughs> oh, what? Here we are. First location, so we're going to check out all the four wheel drive and the rear wheel drive and the front wheel drive, and then if it survives that, we're going to take up the road there and hit a speed run. And we got camera lady in the house. Hey, clear rolling? No. <laughs> this car is not going to No, this is an on road car, not a basher. Oh. Was that a drop test? Again? No, no drop test. <laughs> oh, what's it doing? Doing his own drop test. <laughs> Right, we're alive. Ah, right, ready? You ready? You ready? This way it goes backwards. Okay, oh, yeah, let's forward. Oh! 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 What happened? Oh no! Oh. 
<laughs> it's just falling apart. <laughs> I've got tears coming out of my eyes. This is too much for one day for me, man. Uh. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Look, it's not what happened. Oh, look. That exploded. Oh. How? Oh. Um, well, it's made cheese. out of that stuff, isn't it? What do you call it? Cheese. Oh. Oh. Well, we're going to have to get it fixed again. How? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll get hot glue. Um, I've got a free wheels for your wagon. Oh, oh well, I've got adapters, so we can run different wheels. Yeah. Yeah. You're broken here. Oh, oh really? yeah, it's, it's and like there. disintegrated, it exploded. Well, the oh. chassis all right. Oh, oh, game over. <laughs> Another video, maybe soon. So this is the Kronos XTR from Teamco Rally, and it's supposed to be the ultimate. RC Basher. So Claire from Claire's RC had the version one. The bulkhead design which separates the bearings should not do that. And that's the same in the other bulkhead. It's slightly stuck on. And it also had some other problems too. So the pillow balls, they used to pop out all the time really easily. Now this one here is the Armour Creighton EXB. And I think this car is trying to take away the title from being like the best ape scale basher. Now this one here is the version 2, 2022 edition. So we can unbox it, put it together and then take it out for a rip and see if the version 2 is actually now an extreme basher or if it's going to be another letdown. Check it out. So what do you reckon, guys? Tyres are firm, but they do have suppleness. We have double wishbone suspension front and rear. Coilover shocks all round. The metal bodies adjustable. Metal drive shafts. There's a whole load more techno babble all over the box. Underneath, we can see a 7075 metal chassis. Now, metal chassis do have a habit of bending, and every single RC car that I've ever had with a metal chassis has always bent. So on this one, we got a straight edge and we're going to check it throughout the video and make sure how straight it's going to stay or not. So we've got these nice little tethers on the body clips to save you from losing them. Inside you'll see there are no electronics. So I'm going to be fitting a JX EcoBoost Turbo, Dumbo Radios, a Hobby Wing Max 8 Combo. So we've got 7075 shock towers, another one up front, lots of chassis bracing. A JX EcoBoost Plenty of speed and power. And the motor power. <laughs> yes, that's gonna go. Here we are on location. We have crew in the house and we've got another one. Who's gonna last longer? Yours, because I can't drive. Ah, well, they're both gonna go to the moon. So here we are at this skate park. This is actually the skate park that Claire was at. And they let me have a go on it and loads broke. So I think it's going to be a fair test for the version 2 to see if it's going to be more durable or not. Oh, it's lively. Should we give a quick, quick rip across the field? Whoa, Jesus! The, what, what the hell? I reckon I'll do a standing backflip, you know. Well, let's have a vote. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, oh, 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 Jesus! Are you alright, mate? Yeah. Did it get ya? No. This thing is so fast. Why is it so fast? <laughs> oh, we've already destroyed the body. Suicide jump number two. Run up from there, hit this, and you've got to clear that thing. But if you hit that railing, it's going to be game over. Oh! Right, so that was suicide jump number one. It's too wet on here to do it, really. Alright, let's try suicide jump number two. Oh, that's the end of that. I think it's a bit hobby wing tough. Oh, look, the uh, seat. Oh! Come out. 
Oh, that'll do it. It was getting caught on something. Huh? What's the chassis straightness looking like? No, look. Oh, that's why the steering's gone funny. Look, it's completely bent the whole front end. 75 rough. So that this whole front end, I was bent forward like that. We I mean, look at the angle. Oh, oh, look at that. The steering posts, like right, this whole thing's bent forward. Oh yeah. Oh, the screws come off here. The screws come off of that. It's oh. bent all that lot forward. And God knows how this lot's still attached. Yes, back in action. <laughs> oh! oh, oh, oh. That was the worst that possible landing. Back. That landed on here. Oh, oh. You didn't bend it back. Uh, oh, that's, that's bent the opposite way to what armor's bent. <laughs> So the Armour Fire team is one of the most fun and durable RC cars that I've ever had. But I think we can make it better. So in the last video, we gave this RC car absolute torture and we couldn't really break it. The only thing we done was put a slight bend into the chassis. So here we have a titanium chassis from scorched parts. Titanium is lightweight, yet crazy super durable. Also from scorched parts, we have drive shaft. And then from custom RC upgrades, we have some chassis braces, titanium skid plates, and some other goodies. And I also want to change this body. I'm not really a massive fan of the guns in there and the body style. Now, before you start complaining at me, I'm not anti-guns. If they're used for protection, great. They're a good tool. Just like a hammer. It's a tool, but not really anything that I can get excited about. There we go. Oh, what do you reckon, guys? So in a minute, we're gonna take it out for a rip. But first, I wanna put on a big opinion gear. What a big opinion gear does, it drives the wheels faster. That's gonna make the car go faster. Should be better for stunts, and it should also be better for speed. So the one that's on there now is a 15. We're gonna go up to an 18. Uh, not massively more, but it should be a little bit more. <laughs> There we go, zero mile an hour. Let's see what this baby can do with a new gearing. I think he did like 56 last time, so hopefully this time it's gonna do like, I don't know, 70. Flat out, man, that's moving, Jesus. Whoa. Man, that's woken it up. That is lively now. 62. Right, one more. Mm. Flat out, flat out. That's flat out. Got to be 70, isn't it? Man, look how cool that looks now with that body. Oh, 68 nearly. Next location. Look at Andy the Landy, looking all beautiful. Man, these tires are loud. Oh, look, it's starting to rain, but no big deal. It keeps the zombies away. Here we are. We're in the house. Hello. So I forgot to say earlier, but here we've got handbrake button. And in there, look, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there, look, there's the handbrake. So you go along, hit the handbrake, and it does a handbrake turn. Oh no, new body. Footage. And we've got titanium chassis, so we should get some sparkage on landing. Man, it's being ripped! Alright, we need to get the program box in there and give it some brakes. Alright, so we've got to plug that into there. So there we go, got it all plugged in, and then we've got to connect him up, go through all the settings and give it more brakes. I don't know why these armors, they never come with any brakes. Uh, can, uh, oh no. Can, um, Stephen? <laughs> Do you know how these things work? Max brakes, 
We'll go for 100. <laughs> that might be a bit much. No, 100. That's it. All right, well, let's get that on there. We'll see how good the brakes are. And then we're going to do some suicide jumps. Thank you, Stephen. That's all right. Hungry? Uh, yeah, go on in. <laughs> well, I might be behind it. <laughs> the common decent thing to do is if you want to get someone with your RC card, you've got, you've got to ask them first, are you hungry? If they say yes, it gives you the green light. If they say no, you, you better not do it. <laughs> yeah, you get to feed them. Oh, we've got brakes. Bloody hell. Oh, oh, and it's come unplugged. So suicide jump number one. Sort of success. Right. Oh, we got going. Oh, yes, come on, plugs. All right, let's try again. Oh! oh! You are good, now it's inside jump number one, now let's go into jump number two. I think Dave's going to give it a go as well. Oh dear, here comes the Kronos, the Co-Rally Kronos XTR. Oh, chassis slammer. We're both at the same time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh! That's bad. That's really bad. I really won. This oh, came off. Take it? The customer asked the upgrade thing survived. Shit, the bolt. But it snapped the bolt off and it destroyed that thing. Oh. What that's all. Awesome. Still works though. Let's get in it now! Professional radio controlled buggy kit. So, in this video, we're going to build it and then we're going to take it racing and see how well we can do. So, this is what it's hopefully going to look like when it's finished. Here's all the electrics that we're going to put into it. Next, we've got to change the window masks and then back it with white. So really smaller masks, the white's going to show through and that means we're going to get a white border around the windows. So it's nearly looking good. Put a tinting spray, put the spoilers on and we should be looking good. What do you reckon, guys? Are we looking professional? <laughs> oh, poor carpets. Right, let's go racing. Yes. All right, here we are on location. Vinny. Race director. Race director is going to explain to us how it works. So how's it work, boy? So you've got a list of, list of people in heat down to um, ability. Yes. We kind of know what ability are. They go out there, they qualify, and then they get placed in a final. Simple. Okay, so I mean... Go! First place. Kev getting all serious, winning the race. So we got 19 laps. And is that good, Vinny? Yeah, it's not bad. Well, we'll see what happens in the top one. Okay. Right, so that's Vinny's go. Right, so here's Vinny. Look at that. Here's all the other competition. Vinny's in second. 
No, he's not. Vinny's last. <laughs> Look at that concentration. <laughs> so Vinny come in fifth. Oh, how many laps did I get? Was it 19? 19, yeah, but that was awful. Oh, look, I've got 19 as well. Yeah. I'm only one lap behind the top one. We might oh. get in the A final. <laughs> look at that. We ain't, we're not qualified first in the A, are we? <laughs> it can't be. <laughs> oh, Stuart's got him. Hero to zero. There he is. Pushing his way through the pack. He's running. Oh, he was third. Now he's fifth. Now he's fourth. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I was there all night. I know. I, was there. I, I did the and same I thing. I couldn't do it. Honestly, yeah. the ramp felt like completely the different angle. Really so. you come, you come last. last. Oh dear. So here we are building my dream monster truck. And in this video, we're going to try and get the engine running for the first time. This is a big block Chevy V8 supercharged and it runs on 100% alcohol. It should be pushing out around about 1500 horses. If we mess about with the supercharger pulleys and the supercharger, maybe we can get it up to like 2000, something like that. So the engine's in, but there's no transmission yet. I've got the transmission. So here are some parts that I made in the last video. We took them off, we sent them off to get powder coated. Now they're back so now before we can start the engine we need to really get all this stuff back onto there so this piece here ties the shocks together to stop all the accumulators flapping around so here we have the front hydraulic pump for the front steering so this thingamajig here goes on here and then we've got to grub screw it on Get a bit on there. Right, so now we've got to get the rest of it in the hole. Now, now somebody's got to get a kettle on. <laughs> You've got most of it. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Apparently, the torque setting for this is FT. So, apparently, this is FT setting. Hello. Lovely jubbly. I'm not in it, so man. <laughs> So next, I think we've got to get that shaft back into there, located with that, and then we've got to jack the engine up and down slightly to get that perfectly in the right place. Then we can bolt these two bolts up on this side, drill the holes out, bolt the engine in permanently, and then we should be good to go. Next, we've got to put this transfer case back together again. So next, we have to put some safety on there. So that goes under there like that, and then that. On there like that. So next, we've got to hook up the linkage cable. She doesn't need a hole really, shouldn't we? And fit it back on here. So next, we've got to get the linkage on. So we get that in there, and then if Ian moves it, we learned this from Tony Swamp Thing. Mm. So you want to, is that, what gear is that in? Uh, reverse. So you've got to adjust this so it fits in the hole nicely. Right, different gear. Second. Yep. Reversed. Yep, and uh, neutral. Neutral. And park. It's in park, it goes a little bit tight, but I think that's just what it is. Right, that's it, we're done. So lock that up. We have this from an RC car look. Boom. So now that we have all the gearboxes perfectly lined up with the engine, now we can go ahead and we can drill out the rest of these engine mount plates. So next, we can get the starter motor back on. So we've got to make up another couple of hoses. Boom!
So these are the oil coolers for the gearbox. So now we've got to do another one. There we go, hose number two made. Boom, there we go, all on there. We still got to zip tight all to everything, but because we're bunching so many different wires together, we're probably going to leave that to the end. Oh, we're getting there, guys. Nearly time to fire it up. We've got all the drive line in, transmissions are in, engines in, it's all plumbed up. We've just got to do a little bit of wiring, some hydraulics, and it should be good to rip. Here we've got another goodie that turned up the other day. Here we have our Accu Sump. So the Accu Sump sits under here. So first of all, we've got to mount these brackets. Boom! Next, we have this contraption. So we've got to screw this into there, that into the Accu Sump. I like to use this uh, to seal the threads. Someone said in the comments, this is not for sealing threads, but uh, it says on here, you can. Then we've got to give it a couple of minutes to go tacky, and then we can screw it in. And then the same with this pressure switch. Oh, this is in the way, I'll take this off. So next we've got to order a pipe that goes from there into the engine somewhere and then try and figure out how to wire it all up. Oh, another one for truck delivery. Got a few more fittings turned up. Got some more tubing turned up. Next, we have a problem. This is all the wiring and this stuff absolutely terrifies me. Every time I touch electrics, it melts, catches fire. But luckily, we have Tony from Swamp Thing 4x4 coming to the rescue. We've got the main man in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's petrified on the wiring. I cannot do it. You can do plumbing, can't you? Yeah, sort of. Well, this is the same with plumbing. Except you're, instead of putting water or oil somewhere, you're putting electric. It's exactly yeah, the same. Yeah, can you do it? <laughs> it's just, just in different colours. So we just need to get on the truck and just start laying wires where they go. And okay. these ones are nice and easy because they're all labelled up where they got to go. Okay. So you've done the top bit now. I've actually done a bit of wiring, look. Yeah. Hope you guys are all proud of me. Look, I'll put that on there. Just work out what the next ones are. Main problem is I didn't bring my glasses. So I can't, oh. read, I can't read what they say. <laughs> Does someone knows what they're doing. Complicated. Oh, don't say that. That means I've got no hope. All right, so then the dark green goes on there as well. So this here is the RII. The idea of that is, is if you get into trouble, then the marshals can shut you down remotely. So we've got to wire this in. So I've got the other end of the plug in there, and I've got to put this on the end of it so we can plug it into this harness here. And I'm guessing that's for that. Because it's on their RC box, so I guess that's what it is. So first time doing this, no idea if I'm doing it right. So we put these little grommets here over the top. These are to stop the water getting in. And then we've got to strip a bit of wire off. And then get one of these little terminal thingy majigs on there like that. And then I've got these special crimping pliers here. Put that in there like that. And then next we've got to fold this little piece here over. Put it on there. Looks good to me. And then next we've got to get these into there. And we've got to get it the right way around. So yellow in that one. No idea where these go, we'll figure that out a bit later. So now that can plug back into there. These go somewhere. So just had the batteries turned up, so these are the Optima yellow tops. So we've got two of them and they go in there. Then we've got this clamp thing here to go on top, but we're still waiting to get some studs so we can bolt it in. Then we've got to put some lac sand over the top of it to stop it shorting out and stuff. Next up, we've got to make some battery cable. I'm not gonna bother filming the whole process. I'll just show you when it's done. So next we've got this little crimp off thing here. So you get the cable, shove him in there, just like that, and then hit it with a hammer. Just like that. Oh look, we've got the hydraulic man turned up. Now we're in from Hydroquip. How you doing mate? Oh, hey, Chap, how are you? Not bad. What you got for us? Rubber hoses. Oh, <laughs> we're getting hydraulics done. We're going to measure 
Yes, so we've already done a little bit. We've got a bit of the front hosing in, look. So what we're gonna do now is go from your pump. Oh, hold on, let me come round so we can see. I'm just gonna measure this for now. So just pop that on there. <laughs> What's this thing gonna do? Uh, that's the crimp that we're gonna use. What does that do? Just how tight the crimp is, is it, that bit? It does indeed, yeah. So what we do is, uh, we these little dies that are underneath here will get you roughly in the, uh, to near the mark of what you need to crimp it to, and then just add on a little bit by the fine adjustment. Sounds the technical. Industry, bit of grease, and we can pop that in the back. And <laughs> Now we're trying to get to 31.1, that's 31.07. Let's just do the other end. So look, we got all the rear steel already done, look. We need to put a safety guard over the engine block in case a rod blows off and it doesn't come out and hit people. So I made a template out of cardboard, then I cut the cardboard out of stainless steel. Next we've got to drill some holes. Stainless steel is quite hard and difficult to drill. And these are the best drill bits that I have found that love drilling through stainless. Look at that, straight through. So you've got these plates all cut out now, we've got this bracket here made. And next we've got to weld up the kickback. Oh no, I just welded that thing on there and it ran out of gas. The wheels come out ugly. I wanted to really box it all in, but for now, it's gonna have to do. So basically what this thing does here is the engine is mounted on two aluminium plates. So it can actually flex this way. So this is to limit it. So next we can get the exhaust pipe on there. So here we've got some brackets that hold on these straps. So the odd thing of these straps is that if the supercharger was to blow off, and it does happen sometimes, it stops it flying off and hitting someone. It's another day, we got cleaning in the house, and it is the calm before the storm. What are we doing, people? They're gonna give me breaks. So tomorrow Tony's coming, and we should get it running for the first time, hopefully. So today we just gotta go through it all, button everything up, brake fluid, oil, gearbox oil, all that stuff. Come on, lady. <laughs> Hopefully. Yes. <laughs> yes, lovely. So here we have Wilwood Racing Brake Fluid. Push pedal down by hand. Any pumpage? Yeah, go on. It's probably going to fire it all out the top. Shouldn't do. Not if you're gentle. you got to do it on and off technique. Yeah, we're going to lock the black one off as well. Yeah, let me lock the black one off. Pump it up. Hold it down. Yep. All right, I think we might be good back here. The pedal should go rock hard. Pump it up. So apparently we've got to fill it all the way to the top here, reckons. But I don't know. I have no idea. I'll probably do, won't it? We have lid. Hey! We have brakes! And tomorrow we're going to have acceleration. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that! So the lambda's in the corner now. We've got the wheels there and the body up there. Don't make a mess. You've got no chance with this stuff. Look, it's like glue. Oh, it's really thick. 
What are you doing, Claire? I'm holding your funnel. Ooh, look at that, all going in there. All that goodness. This is the right stuff, yeah? Uh, I hope so. It's going in. Look, look, look. Oh, it's black as well. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, what? That's what? 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 Really what did? <laughs> the noise. What? Well, what's it remind you of? <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's another day. We got Tony from Swamp Thing Four before us in the house. How you doing, buddy? All right, yeah. So, what are you doing? Right, so, I'm just tested most of the wiring what you've put in and so far i haven't found a problem with it so we've been, dry, <laughs> we've been dry testing it now we're onto the bit where everything is off touch this quickly see that that's a good sign there oh okay no sparkage no, sparkage. no smoke you've turned the power on at the back now and then i'll touch it again because at the minute nothing's connected right so right so that's on now Turn the next isolator on the one at the front. Right, ready? Yeah, go ahead. I've got the battery on at the minute. All right, we're on. All right, so that's good. If this all goes to plan today, we're going to start it up. We got fanage. Oh, it's Christmas every day. <laughs> oh, no, it's Ian and Claire. <laughs> what time do you call this? I'm Ian Thanks, pretending Ian. to look like he knows what he's doing. Claire watching. <laughs> Are we sponsored by Buxton? Yeah. We're not sponsored by anyone yet. We're not sponsored by Buxton. Hey, there he is. You've got Buxton in the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, getting ready for the Monster Nationals. They won't belong. Where can I get tickets for? Looking good. Get them off the website. Go to santapod.com. Yeah, you can get them there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. 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 Yes. And there's not many left. So I'm a big fire up day today then, Kev. Yeah. Can't wait. Tony? I'm cleaning up my shiwi. Drying your shiwi. <laughs> 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 What's that makes a funny noise when you come down again? Come with them. Alright, listen to it coming down, ready? <laughs> Ooh. Is that your old Tony? No? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Is the really still gonna work? Or is hydraulic gonna go everywhere? Oh! Hey! hey. <laughs> ah, ah, it's doing stuff! Is it leaking anywhere? No? It works! <laughs> Alright, I'll put some more oh. in it. Oh, I can hear. Oh! Out of here. <laughs> oh yeah, we didn't do any of those up actually. Oh. <laughs> what size is this? <laughs> 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 I haven't done those ones up either. Wasn't that on our list of things to do this morning? No, that's on Kevin's list of things. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like it's running out of all of You want to keep it clean so when you work on it. Because yeah. <laughs> you are yet to get your hands dirty. Well, I've done most of it. You didn't do any oil yesterday. He volunteered. <laughs> <laughs> he volunteered me. We got? don't know. Oh, oh it's there. <laughs> Have you got a shiwi, Tony? Yeah, I've got I've got multi multiple shiwis. <laughs> <laughs> a bit slow, isn't it? Yeah, it's about right, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I like that slow What you don't want is it to whip you, you see? It's how it's never working. Yeah. Oh, look at that, it works. <laughs> How come it's working? Oh, I don't know if it went the other way. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just turn, turn, pull the switch out, turn it around, put it back in again. Fix. Are you doing ignition on as well? No, no. Just start. Yeah, just start. Woo! There you go. So so do, do, do it a few more times, yeah? Again. Again. That's good, isn't it? Your bowl pressure's not coming up. It will eventually, but we've got to put more oil in it. We've got to do the accumulator next. So this contraption is apparently a block heater and a water heater, yeah. an oil heater. So you're heating the oil and the water at the same time. So we've got to set the rear shocks. Tony showed me how to do it last time. I, I can't remember how to do it. So now he's showing us how to do it again. Basically, we're going to set the gap in there, whatever you want it, and then we have to set the pressures in the shocks. I think we want 11 back and 10 front, I think it was, or yeah, 9 front. So we're miles too high at the minute, then. Get the mouth. Get the bow. Screw it on. 
this thing was leaking on us yesterday, so I don't know if I used it wrong or if it's... We'll check it in a minute. But... And then you might make sure that one's backed right the way off. So that gauge tells you how much is in the bottle. This is the one what you're actually putting in the pressure. How much are we going for? I, re I reckon you're going to put... Put oh, 700 in there yesterday. No, no, you're going to be 200. <laughs> thought, what did you put uh, in the front last time? 100, wasn't it? I think I put 100 in the front last time. Yeah, yeah. you see, it starts starting to climb. So I'll put, I'll put in 200 in the back because it's heavier. It is heavier at the back than it is at the front. Yeah. Then you just back the gauge off because it, it won't go down. If you put too much in, you've got to take that off and just get, get hold of that. And yeah, see, okay. the gauge goes down now. That's a 200. Back it off. Turn, turn the bottle off. So now with the 19. You want the top one in. So we're moving the truck outside just in case it decides to catch fire when we start it. So here Tony's filling up the tank with methanol. And a little bit of petrol to get the engine running for the first time. Turn the power on. on. Uh, what, the the oscillator. Oscillator, yeah. That's already on. Yeah. So it does bump the starter. Uh, ignition off. Yeah, ignition off. Okay, again. Again. Right, now look at the oil pressure gauge. Right, yeah. And then bump and bump it like for a long time. Right, now. Yeah, do it again. So haven't you got like 40 psi on there now? No, should I keep going since it's on 40? Yeah, yeah. So here Tony's putting a bit of petrol into the intake. Alright. Stop press starter. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Oh my god! Go again, go again. Oh my god, that's just like that Lambo's a mouse. Again? Yeah, I'm gonna put a bit more in. I want to go to the moon! <laughs> okay, go on then. Go on again. Wait, want me to hit the starter? No, not yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not yet, because the throttle's wide open. Go on then. <laughs> you want me to go? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> again? Yeah, do, yeah pull, pull the methanol now. Alright. Yeah, it'll be alright, it should go now. Tony's adding more hydraulic fluid for the front steering and I'm working the steering left and right to try and bleed the system. Here we've got the front steering all working now. Tony is topping up the transmission and I'm going for all the gears to get the fluid through the transmission and get it all working.
takes a lot, doesn't it? It's good. Go for all the it's everything's all the transmission coolers and everything's empty. What's happening down here, people? Just putting all the fluid in the transfer case. So on, on your transfer case, you've actually got two places to put the oil, but you've got a nice sight window in both of them. So on the top one, you put it in here and you look to it so it fills up in there. Yeah. And the same, what the, the one on the other side is basically they're both at the same height. And if I change my drop gears, it's gonna all the oil's gonna come out. Yeah. Oh, it's on the window. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and at the two guys, the crew chief and the driver, one had thought the other one had filled it up. The other one thought the other, neither oh, of them no. had done it. Next, we're going to check to make sure that the battery isolator kills the engine. Ready? And it does. Right, so turn the fuel off now. Fuel off. Yeah, and then start it back up now. Go with the fuel off. Yeah, because because you basically you sh you shut the engine off with the fuel going. Oh, so it's so, so, it's so, when, you, so now when you fire it up, yeah, you fire it up, and as soon as it fires, then push the fuel on. Okay. <laughs> Kev. <laughs> they didn't like that. <laughs> no, I'm <was> shaking. That <laughs> <laughs> was so cool. <laughs> That's not going to be like backflipping it. <laughs> That's going to be scary, isn't it? I did say it's unlike any other vehicle, didn't I? Here we have a radio controlled EDF jet. I've never had one before. They're supposed to be pretty difficult to fly and it's pretty big. So we're probably going to smash it into a million pieces when we try and fly the thing. Oh, there's parts everywhere. Old, oh, old, old. If you look in there, look, it's like a electric jet engine. So I want to see if I can fly it, see if I can get on with it. If I can get on with it, then you can get big planes, proper RC planes with real jet engines. We might get one. Hey, here we are on location. Oh, we got Mark in the house and we've got Vinny in the house. Cameraman. And uh, yeah, cameraman, cameraman. Uh, he's got an Instagram as well. We put his little thing there for him. Actually, Vinny does a lot of Instagramming for me, actually, but it's on his account. <laughs> I need to get your account. Right? <laughs> Come on in, stop waffling. Let's get the plane up in the air. Well, Mark's going to go first for this. What you got here, Mark? Uh, Oxy 5. Do we have a quick little peek? But it's the Oxy 5 stretch. Brushless motor. All that stuff in there. How many S-Lipos? 
12. 12 S, baby. Okay. What tricks are you going to do today? A few flips and rolls and TikToks. The reviewers all want to see a crash. Are we going to get a crash? Mm, don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Mark's going to crash his helicopters first, and then it's going to be my turn afterwards. Uh, actually, don't crash it. It looks too nice. He's got a banged turbo on there. Oh, is that what it is? A banged one. He's got a banged turbo on there. Right, we are standing here in safety, but luckily the iPhone has a zoom lens. Getting good old Mark, isn't he, eh? Oh, I thought I was going to go in there. Do you reckon his bot bot went like this? Do you not think that might have been on purpose? I don't know, it looked like he saved it. <laughs> oh, where's he gone? Oh, nose drive. Oh. All right, guess now it's time to fly the boost. How long is it going to last? I've never flown anything like this before. On the simulator, I just can't fly them at all. Let's go on here. Vinny, how long do you reckon it's going to last? I don't know. I've got faith in you. I don't even know how you're supposed to trim it. that in there like that. Ah, ha, ha. Is everything going the right way? <laughs> if I move that that way, it's supposed to bank that way. All right, so that's right. Up and down, so... Pull back. Oh, I think he's right. Is it right? Normally, we've got a professional here that knows how to fly these things, that flies that it for me first. Is that the right way? <laughs> That's not it. I think it's great. I'm not in it, am I? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's probably not set up right. I don't know how to fly it. <clears throat> and I've got you lot there laughing. <laughs> <laughs> well, we will laugh. I can't, I can't fly them on the simulator. <laughs> Thanks. If it's correct, it's going to be two minutes. If it's wrong, it's going to be two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to do an upside down circuit. That's a challenge. Is it? An upside down circuit. It's got to do a loop. We've got to get, yeah, a loop and an upside down circuit. We've got to get that out of it, didn't we, at least? Shortest plank review on YouTube ever. I don't know which way you're supposed to take off from. Oh, it's <laughs> a nose cone, Bob. Where's the nose? Nice kinds. Of, oh, there. Whoops. Right, oh, yes. Right, loop coming up, ready? Ready for a loop? Oh, yeah. Ah, look at that. Well docile. It looks it. It feels like if you do something wrong, it's going to go wrong, really. Oh, that's going to be quite nice. Oh, that's going to be quite nice. Something came off. What came off? Yeah, it looks like a wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I think I've been wanting to land it. Can I find land it? <laughs> We're going to try and land it. Ready? You sure? You're not going to have a little bit more. Three wheel landing. Oh. <laughs> right, okay. He bottled it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds really good as well, doesn't it? Oh! Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> you animal. <laughs> it might not be broken. Good could, job I'm not eating that thing. Could be worse, could be mine. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. <clears throat> Will it fly again though? Uh, I think. I'm, I'm, it's probably fixable, isn't it? I think we broke it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it had steering on the front. Yeah. Yes, yeah. not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Look what we have. Oh. It's a real one, a real toy plane. So do you guys reckon we can get it flying again with only this? Do you reckon? So Mark's doing the wiring again because all the wiring has come out. All right, so that on. I'm guessing. Plug him in there, Vinnie boy. All right, so what power we got? What, you got it right first time? Well, it all works. How? Steering on the nose wheel. Works. This is the banker. That works and up and down. So all we gotta do now is piece it back together again with this like a jigsaw. 
No one would ever know, would they? <laughs> <laughs> We're back in action! Yes! Can you launch? <laughs> We're not allowed to do it from here, otherwise we get banned from the Cubs. We've got to go over to the official flying zone. Which Indeed. Is up ponies. Perfect, isn't it? Still working. Perfect. I don't know what it's going to land like with all the wheels facing funny angles, but I feel a bit sorry for it now. <laughs> right, are we ready? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> it had nothing in it. It's too heavy. It's probably the battery. Um, battery's probably flat as well. Yeah. All right, well... Um... <laughs> oh, my God, guys. This RC car is a beast. And in this video, we're going to make it even more beastly and give it more power. Yes! Oh, 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 oh my god! <laughs> check it out! Oh my god, check that out, guys! The quality of that is on a whole new level. So while other RC engine tuners, they just modify the stock Zanoa engine, Taylor RC redesigned and built this completely from the ground up. So let's get it fitted and then take it out for a rip and see how good it is. But this should have loads more power off a lot. Here we have the stock engine. <laughs> Here we have the Taylor. Now this is a 35cc engine. It's only a little bit bigger than the stock engine, but it's designed to be lightweight and to fit directly in. So you can use all your existing exhaust pipe. Here we are on location, our Raceway again. We've got engine tuning expert, Mark, RS Mark in the house. The best driver of Arc Raceway. There you go, mate. Cheers, mate. Uh, we've, got, we've got the settings here. We've got, we've got to run it all in properly. Okay. Oh. Alright, so we gotta do that for five minutes, then we gotta race, and then we get yeah, we've got one in there. Oh we got going on down here then. Oh there's Ian's one. Oh look what we got here! So we got tug of war, I'm still running in, but David has got a stock engine, this can win. Ready, so there you go! <laughs> David's got the bad tyres! <laughs> Complete carnage. 
So in the last video, we did a quick unboxing, a quick overview, and a mild bash of the Traxxas Sledge. In this video, we're gonna give it an extreme durability test, and also fit a new servo, because the stock one is a little bit on the slow side. I also wanna race it and see how well it can do around the track. Go on, give it a wiggle. Oh, check that out. Now it's got speed and power. Let's go. Let's go, Brandon. I yeah. agree. What, what happened? <laughs> Quick warm up lap, and then we're going to have a little race against some Craytons and other stuff. So here we have the contenders. We got Creighton EXB, another Creighton EXB, a rival, and the maybe mighty Sledge. Ready, steady, go. Oh, really? We're in the lead. We're in the lead so far. That new servo is working good. I'll tell you what, this goes around the track really well. All right, so they conquered the track. So next, let's hit the skate park. What you'll be waiting for, durability test to the moon and see if he's going to survive. Oh, no. We got Crazy Mark. He's the best driver here. Watch him go. Look at that. Nice. Here we are, what everyone's been waiting for. The durability test. <laughs> I think it's time to go to the moon. Oh Jesus, where that come from? We're gonna hit this flat out and go to the moon. This is one of the longest run-ups that we have all the way from over there, flat out into that. If we're gonna bend the chassis, this is what's gonna do it. There you are, we're gonna go flat out all the way across the field here. We got the C10 X Max out again. Oh, Martin's got some amputation going on. Oh, batteries have got ejected. Really put a body clip in there. So if you're going to go to the moon with this, it's got some little bits there where you can put a body clip in and that should stop the battery tray from opening them up. Let's go again. And it's still going, it loves it. Oh, that's got to bent it. If that didn't bend it, nothing will. Oh, no. Nice. Finish the gear mesh moved a bit, or is it all right? It just sounded a bit rough. I don't know if you've got a stone in there. What? What? Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> What's it looking like? Tiny bit. Send it till you bend it. It's getting in now. Whoa. <laughs> I'm going to go for a front flip. That normally ends really badly. Joint front flip. Hell, look at the mess of that. What happened? Oh, uh oh. Well, we have to investigate on that. Oh. Oh, That's no. not good, is it? No. Oh, I think it's just the motor mesh has moved. So I think all we have to do is loosen these off, reset the mesh, and we should be good. I'm liking the motor mount system, though. Oh, back in action. I think it's ripped it out. Wherever that's supposed to go into isn't there anymore. <laughs> oh, no, it's getting tighter. Ah, back in. We're back in. Back in action. Back in action. Oh, I've got a good durability test. What about we do a purpose nosedive on purpose? Yeah? <laughs> yeah? yeah. Alright, nosedive on purpose. Oh! I did. Oh, the battery's come out. How did it do that, Kevin? 
I don't know, mate. <laughs> what happened? Should we go and put it back on, mate? Right, hit it on there. That's it, boom, back in action. We know you dived it on purpose. It's still perfect. Right, we're going to go for maximum amount of backflips. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't know. Again. <laughs> that sassy brace there is broken. Look, the screw's gone again. Look, it's gone again. So I think in the future upgrade, we have to get a nut on top of that. We'll jump it again. That'll fix it. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! What's the worst landing? Is it broken? It's broken. Where? Oh, broken rod end. <laughs> oh, it's not sounding good. <laughs> Game over, let's have a look what the damage is. That's it. <laughs> oh, maybe just the motor's come off, the yeah, pinion. I'm honest. Oh, just the pinion's come off. Yeah, it's just moved a little bit. Oh, and it's grinding away at that. All right, we're going to need to do a bit of TLC on there. We'll get the straight edge on the chassis in a second so we can have a proper true straightness test. It's got a boo boo. <laughs> it's got you a boo boo. You your on it. Yeah, you get a little faster on it. Oh, yeah, look, yeah. it's shredded the spur it's gear. Gummy. Gum gum. Turn it around a bit. So, uh, look, missing teeth. Gum, 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 oh, gum. my new toy. My poor new toy. Yeah. No, we found a bench off. Uh, That's not really a big deal, no. We can straighten out with a hammer. So here we go, chassis straightness test. Back end, good. Coming onto the front, nah, a little bit of a bendage. And also, if you put the straight edge this way, there's a little bit of bendage that way too. All right, so it's been a few weeks and we've got the 7075 chassis brace that we just put in there now. The car does seem a little bit too powerful on 6S. It just explodes itself. So we're going to try some 4S lipos. I've got these black Raccoons here, two of them. We're charging them up, but I don't know, look at that. The voltages on both of them are really far out. And if you shake it, it's all loose in there, and I've really actually killed one where it's come apart inside. Oh, wow. We're going to do a quick speed one with that along there, and then we're going to go in the woods. AS has got this thing back out again. I forgot what it's called. What is it? Lossy Hammeray. Lossy Hammeray. He's given it extended hexes, locked tyres back on. He's got the buggy shocks to make it less roly poly. So there we go. We've got the GPS on there, all zeroed off. Let's see what it can do on 4S. Oh, that is full speed. That is Pins. And that is probably a more healthy speed, actually. What we got? What we got? What we got? 50 mile an hour on 4S. Will it do a standing backflip on 4S? Nope. Oh, no. The it's steering's not. starting to fail. Look, it doesn't want to steer now. What? Oh, no. It's not one of those EcoBoost servos that have died. I've had good luck with them up until now. The JX EcoBoost has been my go-to servo for the past couple of years. But recently, I had a few go wrong. Oh, look. The EcoBoost is not behaving. It's just got a mind of its own. Here we are, ramping time! Oh, put it! Oh, that steering servo's packing up. Oh, come on, servo, don't let me down. Oh my god! Ah. Oh! Oh! Oh, come on, servo! It won't even let me steer! Hey, look at that, look, you can just steer it by hand. Wow, oh, that's not easy with no steering. Whoa, to the moon! And it lands, nice! Alright, let's get it back to the shop, new servo, and then we'll take it out whip again. I'll check it out, guys. This is the perfect pass servo. 56 kilos of torque, metal cased, metal geared, waterproof, durable. What else do you want? Boom! Got it all in there, guys. These servos have got some power. We'll show you that in a bit. Right, let's rip! Here we are, next location. We got look, crew, more crew! More crew all over there, crew everywhere. Is that the one you nearly killed me with the last time? You felt the sort of air disturbance Yes, it sort of passed me. That's the one. All right, so this is the skate park we came to where we gave it absolute hell and it didn't last very long. This time, we're going to try and use it a little bit more normally and see if it lasts. Because everyone in the last comment said I'm abusing it too much, so let's try and go normal. Two jumps. Uh, two jumps. You reckon it will last two jumps? Two jumps. <laughs> All right. It's four this seems... Oh! <laughs> Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, it's dead. <laughs> Game over. Like rally tough. 
All we got here is this little jumper thing. Plug that back in here, turn it on, and back in action. Guys, that perfect pass servo, that's got some power. Chassis looking straight. So far, everything else is looking good. Right, let's carry on. Guys, this thing. 4S, it absolutely rips. 6S, I think. It's probably too much for it. That's coming from me. Ready? 4S. Look at that. 4S. It just can't keep the front down. You know, this thing actually drives really well. It's probably the best handling monster truck that I've ever had. I mean, it feels so lightweight. 4S is so fast. I don't think it's got quite the durability of like the EXBs, but it does drive really good. I mean, handling wise, definitely better than the Armors. really like it it just handles so good it feels lightweight durability i would say is average i mean it's not extreme bashable really but so far so good karali fanboy <laughs> apparently i'm a karali fanboy now you're just jealous i'm jealous <laughs> we're, we're gonna go for the v3 little, little long jump challenge oh, oh that's only broken broken um, oh killed it killed it Rebo. finish it a lot of you guys ask me, saying what's the best RC car for beginners? I would say that there, the Associated MT-10 boy. Oh no! Oh, MT-10, flat out with a Qonos. Qonos loves it. This thing handles so good. I'm actually a Qonos fanboy now. Look at it, it's ripping. Oh, that has got it into you. <laughs> Twice it's nearly killed, but. Mosh pit, ah! Oh, Dave's a bully! Bully boy! Oh no! Injury! Look, Ben drive shaft! Doesn't matter though. So Stephen has got his bug body. What car is this one? Uh, Helion Dominus. Yeah, that's actually quite good, that one. Little thing rip. So this is Stephen's Rustler. That's not how it was when he got it, is it? No. no so what no, have you done no. to it? RPM, longer arms, aluminium, Chinesium mixed thing. That's the new version chassis. Drag slash gearbox. That's for the Savage. You made it work as a slipper cut. Yeah. Has you got a slipper pad in there? Yeah. Oh. Big GPM drive um, shafts. High quality shocks. Oh, that appears to not be attached anymore. <laughs> oh. Oh, I did broke it. Oh, oh I'll tell you what though, it does look really cool with that body. Thank you. Oh, it's still getting me. <laughs> Just digging them up. <laughs> They're getting shot at. Are you ready, guys? No. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> right. A lot of you guys said, no, these are not the best cheap RC cars, and you said that this one is. So I've got one, we're going to unbox it, take it out for a rip, and see if it's any good. Oh, check it out, guys. This is the rival MT-10 by Team Associated. And it's the cheapest one of the bunch at $340. I can hear it in the comments already. Kev, you live in England. Why are you talking in dollars? Uh, in case some of you guys haven't noticed, YouTube is bigger than just the UK. Look, we're just a tiny percentage. Most people are United States, and the rest of the world knows what a dollar is, not really what a pound is. So there you go, you learn something every day. But anyway, we have double wishbone suspension, front and rear. It's four-wheel drive. We've got wheelie bar. Plastic chassis. I would say that's a good thing. It keeps it cheap, lightweight, and normally more durable. Metal tends to bend. Oh, it comes with a hairnet. So this is to keep all the dirt out. We have brushless power by Reedy. Tires have some nice suppleness. We have some more techno babble on the box. So controller on, car on, steering, plenty of power. Maybe not the fastest. And power. Oh! 
I reckon that's going to be pretty quick. So we're going to get the GPS on there in a minute and see how fast it goes. Oh, look at that. We have headlights. And round the back, we have tail lights. Blah, blah, blah. Right, yeah, that's enough waffle. Let's go with it. Here we are, first location. Got the old GPS on there. We got cameraman. Cameraman hasn't got a clue about RC cars. So we might give cameraman a little go on that later to see how it survives. <laughs> Apparently these things are super durable as well. So we are going to be testing that a little bit later on. First of all, we'll get this speed run. Okay, we'll go for 40 mile an hour, I guess. Right, well that is full speed. Whoa, wait a minute. 40 mile an hour. <laughs> right, next location. Here we are, next location. Bridge. So there we have found a rampage. Is it going to survive? Oh, nose dive. You know, it's lively, isn't it? That didn't work. <laughs> I reckon we're supposed to be a beginner car. Let's give it to a beginner driver. What makes it go forward? That's forward, isn't it? Yeah, that's forward. forward. Other ways brakes, that's it. Full speed ahead. <laughs> He's doing a stem. Oh! <laughs> Gives it here. Gives it here, bro. You can have a go again a bit later. <laughs> I want to see if we can drive it on two wheels. Oh, look at that. It does sort of do it. Next location. This is the best of British roads, the quality of it. We're gonna have a quick little hoon around here, got a bit of gravel, and then skate park. Little hoon around here. We're probably going to get told off. Everywhere we go, someone tells us off. It's just normal now. Someone tells you off. <laughs> so, all right, mate. Sorry, yeah, won't do it again. <laughs> oh, still on wheels. Next location on the skate park. It's a little bit wet, but it means we're the only people here. That is good. People do often say in the comments, why is there no, never any kids on the skate park? So we go on a weekday when they're all at school. And also when it's soaking wet like this, I don't want to play on it. That means we got it all to ourselves. Cameraman's going to have a go on that as well in a minute, actually, if oh, I don't I kill it. Another one. Yes. Uh, well, it's supposed to be sort of like a beginner RC car. So we're going to have to let a beginner test it. <laughs> Our battery's gone flat, didn't charge it, but we got a spare one. Let's swap it over and then give it hell. I'll tell you what I really like on this. If you look here, look, all the drive shafts enclosed, so you can't wrap your wires around it. On some RC cars, that's all spinning. And I've had it before, where all this lot wraps around it. All right, here we go. Let's see how long it's gonna last. Yes. That's the worst possible landing. When you land on an upslope of a ramp, because it's curved, that curvature there is what can either bend or snap chassis. But we're looking good. Associated is still happy. Oh, concrete landing, but she takes it. Right, we're gonna start going to the moon. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Here we go, durability test. Footage. Still going, look at that, love it. Right, so next, let's give it the suicide jump on this skate park, and that is, you've got to go through there, flat out, through this gap here, through there, and you hit this, and it just goes to the moon. If it survives, then its brothers go. It feels like it could do the faster steering servo. The steering servo is really on the slow side. Look at that, that's the steering. Steering is pretty lame, actually. We'll modify that, we'll get it out again in a different video. Oh, it takes it. Footage. Right, well, I suppose we better give it to the amateur, see how it holds up. Do your worst, boy. Right, just, right, just pretend, just pretend, actually, you've just bought it, yeah. and it's your new toy, yeah. and you've seen people like me give it hell on YouTube, and you're just going to try and do something similar. <laughs> oh, he's, he's got skill. Right. Oh! You know what? Nothing's spoken yet. Oh, I've got a challenge for you. You gotta go flat out across here, and then you gotta hit this, and you gotta clear the whole bowl. What's there. that poor bush done to you? Right, if this could go severely wrong, he could jump this and smash it straight into Pikachu. <laughs> That's the worst possible landing. Oh! oh. <laughs> there you go, back in action. All right, carry on. <laughs> Tumble wumble. <laughs> <laughs> He's learning. What do you reckon of it, bro? It is all right, isn't it? You having fun? I mean, it is sensitive. It'll be sensitive, just like the haters. <laughs> it's quite nice knowing there's a destruction clause in the contract. <laughs> you know, you get bonus for breaking it, don't you? <laughs> Oh, headshot. That chassis is still looking perfect. And it's on concrete. Guys, when you're doing this, when you're doing it on concrete, a concrete skate park is the most punishing over anything. If it survives this, go flat out by a newbie, it's got to be a good car. Oh, another headshot. You're going with that one? This, these obstacles. <laughs> He's optimistic. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that was such a nasty landing. Look at that. You know, the thing is, some manufacturers, they market their RC cars as being super tough, super durable, best thing since sliced bread, and they break. This thing, it doesn't say anything about durability. It's probably one of the strongest cars we've ever, ever had. Look at it. When it nose dives, yeah. you give it a bit of power, and that makes the nose come up. Right. And if it's in the air like that, like doing a wheelie in the air, you tap the brakes, that makes the nose come down. So have a little play with the brakes and the throttle in the air, and you'll see that. <laughs> see? Brakes. <laughs> oh! Uh oh! The amputation! Oh, that's killed it. Broken arm off. Right, that's it. Game over for this one. Is that pay cut or bonus? Uh, bonus. <laughs> People keep saying, telling me in the comments before the video ends, they want to see a damage report. Bumper, perfect. Chassis, pretty perfect. Apart from that bit of amputation going on there on the bottom arm, we're pretty good. He's got something to show us. What's he got? Oh, is that the foamy you said that I can't yeah. break? Yeah, they're awesome. Oh, and, and, and you said I can have a go on that? Yeah, you can. Oh dear. It's, you do realise it's not going to come back in one bit. Can you have a go on that one? You can if you want. <laughs> really? Yeah, if you've got time, bro. <laughs> Looks like a missile. Yeah. You, you not got the wings on ya? No, no. God, that's massive, isn't it? Yeah. What's the size of it? <laughs> can, can we see the engine? There's a real turbine engine in there, like an actual jet engine. How fast did you say that can go, Steve? Um, just a under 300 mile an hour. 300 oh, yeah. mile an hour? You'd almost fit in that, Ken. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, oh my God, look at all that lot in there. Just that bit's probably probably worth more than my X Max, isn't it? Yeah, these sets are a uh, thousand quid. Oh, for the three, and they're all electronic. Oh, he's got a bang good servo. Yeah, bang good servo. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not really. It's not really. Can we see the engine, or is it tucked in there? The engine's inside that uh, carbon bypass. Oh, so you can't really fully you can see, see it. it up the chuff. Oh, can you? Oh, yeah. See the old chuffer. Up the old chuffer. Look at that in there. That is the old proper jet engine going on. Oh, we're going to get one. Subscribe, smash the bell so you don't miss it. We're getting one. Oh. We're going to go to the moon in a minute, guys. Flat out. 
Run up all the way across there, full speed into that. I think it stems on the case. Oh, cable up, mate. I've got a cable tie on that. Yeah. <laughs> only needs to go once, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, only one good send, doesn't it? Yeah. I want to see it go to the moon. <laughs> That'll last one jump and it'll come That's off. That's all we're asking for, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's try stem piece repair. Comment down below, guys. How many jumps is it going to last before it finally dies? What do you reckon, Steve? How many jumps? Probably one or two. <laughs> That's bent, that is buckled. Right, so we're going to zip tie it up again and then Stempy can have a go. We've got a chassis straightness test. Oh! Can we see that on? Oh, yeah, she's buckled. Banana. Yeah. Spare parts. <laughs> What's he got for us? Oh, look at that. Nice one, dude. Who's fixing it? Keelan, Stem? Everyone's on it. Go on, there you go. Uh, I was speechless. Oh my god, look, he's under the shock tower. That's all right. Look at it. Broken. <laughs> oh no, there's more bits. What's this? I don't know. He's having a look at the damage. So he's killed my. Is the exhaust dead? Has he slapped it off? Nah, just come out there. That is completely slaughtered. This is your best progress so far, this one. I think you've come to a new level with this one. I had a good few runs, did not it? By the way, guys, in the next video, we're going to completely rebuild it with. Special chassis, special bulkheads, we're going to put all the best stuff on it and rebuild this into a complete Stemby beast. There you go, look, it looks like it. So Steve has let me have a go on this thing, I'm going to show him how to fly it. <laughs> He's got me on buddy box, so when I mess up, he can take over. But it's, everything's the wrong way. This is a setup. <laughs> oh, spot on. All right, now I'll be, I might have half a chance. Oh, you smart ass! <laughs> oh, we landed. Yep, you landed. Result. Let's go. No, not on somebody he else's. I don't mind breaking mine. He's a buddy box, isn't he? Buddy box. Yeah, but I have no experience oh, no, whatsoever. Oh, 
Okay, so that one's that one's a power. So you probably want to keep it on about half. Yeah. And then um, have you not had to go and simulate it? Yet? No, I haven't. Well, touched never. Nothing. No, I haven't touched it. That goes up. That's down. Can I just do that? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Claire, look, look at that. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Go on, Claire, show us some moves. Claire's looping on her first ever go on a plane. Well done. Right, upside down loop. <laughs> oh! Oh no! Oh. 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 There he lands it. <laughs> it still looks over there. Look. There it is. Claire enjoyed it? That's so cool. <laughs> uh oh. Stempy's got his X Max out. So you killed the lossy and now you're on this. Go on, let's show us what you got. Oh. So I thought it blown out tyre. <laughs> oh, Seb's going to the moon. Oh, oh my god. He killed it. Ah, oh, Stem. We... Oh, he killed the shock. Yeah. Oh, I've never done that on an X-Max. Yeah, that's why I was asking. What I've that never part done is. that. Finish it. Oh. <laughs> oh! 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 Look at that, I've never seen that yeah, happen, have I you? I've never done that. But... Looks like the Creighton. Oh, uh oh. Oh, and he lands it. Uh oh. <laughs> Martin has got his Creighton 8S and he's taking that to the moon. Oh, no, I'm off to sing it now. La 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 la. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, what happened? Yeah. I don't want to try out. What came off? Oh, is that? Oh. Don't worry, we don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Shit. Oh. 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 Oh.
Oh, oh, there we go. We got oh. the first little pop. Now we turn the choke off. Oh, that sounds... That's the easiest time. That sounds crisp. First start, that's got to be the easiest start we've ever had. Yeah. So we've got any idle for a minute. We'll, oh. we'll give it a five minute idle in. I'm not very good at running in because I can't help myself when I just start out here. So yeah. can you do it sensibly? No. <laughs> can you try to do it sensibly? <laughs> <All right. laughs> Well, we're going to keep running it in, then we're going to start tuning it and get you back on. Well, I think we're pretty much running now, so a bit more fuel in there, get your body on, let it rip a little bit more, and then we're going to take it somewhere else, a different location. Right, mate, yeah, maybe York, maybe Sandy, don't know yet. Yeah. It's like the snow. Yeah, it's like it. Why is it snowing? It's not How can it be snowing and sunning at the same time? Here we are on location. We got crew in the house. We got more crew over here. Oh, look, we got AS in the house again. There he is. He's got GoPro. He's got his, oh, he's got his Kyosho truggy out for a change. And he's got his granny. And more toys in there as well. Yeah. Yeah. Someone did ask in the comments the other day, has Stephen got a YouTube channel? Oh, yeah, I have. What is it called? Oh, yeah, Steve. Hey, there you go. Uh, look, got an X Max over there. Got a rival. David over there is making a racket. Someone what's going on over there. DR8. Hey, got a noisy lot in the house. Working now. 30 degree north time. Oh. Hey, we're off. Hey, look who's late. Are you hungry? Yeah, come on. Have a go. I've never driven one. Go on. Go on, it'll go. <laughs> what do I do? Say? Yeah, say. <laughs> oh, 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 no, go, no, no. No? <laughs> Anyone else want to go? Oh, easy. <laughs> Is So up there is a log, we're going to air it out off of that and land down there somewhere. Hey, S. Steve over there, he's got a, he's got a second camera angle and, oh, and he said he's going to catch it. Man, this is impressive, this car. For being the cheapest four-wheel drive RC car, petrol powered. All right, here we go, right up from there, we're going to hit this and end up over there somewhere. Hopefully it's going to survive. Oh! <laughs> Let's have 
look at the chassis. Do you reckon it's still straight? Yeah, perfect. Do you smoke? Possibly. <laughs> I'm not hungry though. <laughs> oh, what's going on over here? <laughs> I think we're going to line up here for a race in a minute. We're going to race from up there all the way over there to the grass and then back again. I reckon the 30 degree north has got a good chance. Maybe. I've got to shout even more today than normal because of all the noise. <laughs> <laughs> race coming up. Who's taking part? So we've got Dave. You're taking part. You're yeah, taking part with the 5T. ASD's yeah. taking part with the car show. You're taking part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, we've got my one. ASD. Glossy 5T and the X Max. Are you ready? They can't hear me. Are you ready? Ready, steady, go! But we made second, Dave made number one. I think we got a rematch. X Max over there, trying to do a bit of self whiting. So here we have AS Steve's weapon. Is that a whipper motor you got in there? Uh, no, it's a hobby wing. Oh, it looks like a whipper. Yeah, it's, oh, it's Max 5. Yep. Still got a Max 5 in there, so you can run that on ATS. What S you want at a minute? Four. Four S, it's still wrapping on four. Yeah. And there we have the world's biggest bash sack. It's got everything in there for every single RC car in the world. Yeah, every right. single spare part. Got tires in there. Lipos. Oh, AS Steve is doing maintenance. I have a slight malfunction. What's mini crate got? Did you paint it? Well, let's have a look. Oh, look at that. That looks wicked. Go on then, nail it. Oh, DBX health back. Are you hungry? Yeah, go on then. That was half past. Sorry, Claire. Sorry, you hungry? The rules are if you want to get someone, you have to ask them first. Well, you can ask them first if they're hungry. If they say yes, green light. If they say no, better not do it. Is he coming around that way? <laughs> Easy, he says. So this is the Tamiya Manta Ray. My first ever hobby grade RC car when I was 10 years old. And in this video, we're going to put some upgrades on it to make it really fast. And then we're going to take it to our local professional RC car racing club, race it and see how well it does. So in the back of the manual, there are always these speed secret tuning options. So we're going to chuck some of these on there and even some better parts too. So this is actually the re-released Tamiya Manta Ray that I built on this channel maybe a couple of years ago. This one here, is the actual Manta Ray that I got when I was 10 years old. And we put a few upgrades on there with Meccano and stuff. Um, it's really old, it's really tired. I sort of keep it now for nostalgia. And instead of modifying this one, here we have a Top Force, which is pretty much a Manta Ray, but with all the upgrades already on it. So we're going to take this Top Force as a base, we're going to put the Manta Ray body onto it, we're going to put a brushless motor system into it, we're going to put my dream tyres on it from back in the day. So here we've got the Manta Ray, here we've got the Top Force. So starting off at the front, we can see we've got alloy shocks on the Top Force, carbon fibre towers. Inside here we've got ball differentials, this one's got gear differentials. We've got a carbon fibre chassis on the Top Force, better prop shafts. So first things first, Let's fit the body, then fit the tyres, then fit the motor, and then we're going to go and race it. Boom! <laughs> oh, guys, check it out. What do you reckon of that? I know to most of you guys it probably don't mean much, but to me, this is a childhood dream. So when you're fitting a faster motor, you usually have to fit a smaller pinion to gear it down. So, I've got these two pinions here. They're a lower tooth, the stock one is a 21. These ones here, we got an 18 and a 16, and we got the wrong mesh. Oh, what? So here's the pinion gears that I ordered. So this is a mod 0.6 which is what the gearing is inside the Manta Ray. But they sent me the wrong mesh. Oh well, off to our local hobby store, Redfin Models, and see if they've got anything. Ooh, 
Well, here we are, Redfin Mod Halls. We got Jason in the house. Yeah. And look, look, he's got it ready for us. There we go. Have you got anything new you want to show us in the shop? Full scale brushless buggies. Oh, I was looking at them. Really, really nice. They come with 8,000 kV brushless motors. Brushless? Yeah, four wheel drive. Four -wheel. Uh, can I add it to the heap? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sledge. <laughs> Sledge. A lot of people in the comments have said, where can they see one? Oh, there you go. Well, here you go. If you're coming to Redfin's, you can come and have a look at one in the flesh. Oh, the way this, this comes off. Yeah, that's brilliant, isn't it? Donk. <laughs> well, it definitely looks a lot nicer than my one. Well, it's really rigid compared to all of the other cars. There's no movement. Yeah. Spoiler. It's like proper solid. Isn't that? Nice? Oh, loads more cars along there. Oh, look, boats. Yeah. The bullet thing looks quite good. And planks over there. Oh, is that, oh. is that dog would to call them planks? Thank I went to a you. club once and we called them plankers and they got really mad. <laughs> I want this, but you won't sell it to me. No, no. I well, how long do you reckon that would last if I had to go on one of them? Um, I reckon you could fly it, right? Can I borrow it? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Swamp buggy. Huh? I'll look on YouTube for that. It's very cool, isn't it? So you can pick, pick any engine, petrol, supercharged, four-stroke, two-stroke, yeah. whatever you want. Put it on the back and rag it on snow and water. Yeah. Body clips for real cars. Yeah. TOX fours. Got and six. Most of them, yeah. And the world's best RC car, the X Max, sitting oh. on top of one that's not quite as good. <laughs> there they are. We've got loads of mini back in again. Oh, Craig needs one of these. He's got the real one. Crawler up there. I think they're getting quite hard to find now. What are they called? A bully? RC4 Drive Bully 2, Motor ah. Max or Competition. Yeah, bully. yeah. Oh, look what Jason's got here. It's a Serpent 988E Tapan, I think. Which... 6S Lipo. 6S Lipo. I've got four in it in a minute, so I'm trying to tame it. It was a bit fierce. I bet this is going to absolutely rip, isn't it? Oh, it's, and four-wheel drive. What speed do you reckon it will do? I'll tell you what, I'll show you. What's that in there now? 4S? That's four. Yeah, and what you got I, there? 6S? You know what? I'm going to put four. I'll just show you on 4S. Okay. Oh, you know the viewers are going to want to see more power. I know. <laughs> Change the connectors. I just oh, no. All right. All right, 4S. No diff. Solid spoil at the back. Yeah. Oh, is that the car you said there's no slop at all? Oh yeah, what's this little bit here for? That's a that the shock? solid grease damper. There's a spring and a really thick grease and a little So that's piston. what that's what pushes it up to suspension again? Yeah. Oh right. All in that little thing there? Mm-hmm. Really weird. Hmm. It's tiny. That's what she said. Oh, well, he's got his fly sky noble. I've been pimping it as well. I've done a wheel and a rack. Oh yeah, yeah. Amazon three quid handlebar rack. Yeah, <laughs> he's got Jason written on it. Get me little... Every time you come in this shop, look. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you've ever been to Redfin Models, has this happened to you? So what you do, look, you walk up to the counter, you go like that, there we go, look, hooked on. Eh, it doesn't want you to leave. Another fast servo. Ooh. Really? That's how quick the wheels come off. If any of you lot want to come here, look, this is where it is. Good afternoon, Models. Hello. A few moments later. Thirty percent. Thirty percent. 40, 50. Flat out, full, full. Oh, Jason just showed us something else. So this is a Hobeo. VTE2. So in fraction limitless size. Sneaked out about three weeks ago, yeah. Oh, check out the thickness of those drive shafts. Okay. So all those seven scale speed bodies are all going to fit on there. Mm -hmm. You know what? That looks really nice. It's really Look good. at that, it's all metal. Yeah, I mean, it looks really good. It's good value as well. If you want one. You know, we got to come. Yeah, Just don't yeah. get stuck on the racking. Yeah, that's <laughs> right, back in the shop. Let's get this pinion fitted. Also, I got myself a new LiPo that should fit inside this car perfectly. Bit the old Gen's Ace flavour. It's nice. Actually, not that perfect because our little strap is going to cover up the holes. It's nice. Nat. Anywho, we have motor. And we have a new motor mount. These stock Tamiya ones, I've got a habit of braking, and then you strip your gears. Next, we've got to mount the speed controller, plug it all in, but the cables are short enough. But no big deal, we have longer cable. Boom! So in a minute, we've got to stick all this lot down. But first, I want to change the servo. So in here, we've got a razor. This has got an insane amount of torque, but it's a little bit on the slow side. So I'm going to fit a JXC code boost. It's a lot faster. Not quite as much torque, but the buggy doesn't weigh anything. So, right, ready? Three, two, one. Boom! There we go. Got that eco boost in there. Check out the speed. So next, we've just got to stick all this lot down. 
and then we can go in. And here's the tape we're going to use. Boom! There we go. All tidied up and ready for action. Come on! <laughs> Check it out, guys. Oh, we got one piece missing. There we go. Now it's a mantle ray. Right, that's it. Let's go racing. We are on location, and oh dear, Steph's going to race as well. Only <laughs> <laughs> me. You're racing, boy. Oh, it's Steph's hire car. Oh, oh dear. He's got an off switch. Can I ask has got a cougar? Cougar? You best not break it. No, I won't. Been in the house there, look. It's theft, isn't it? <laughs> Already. Oh. I was looking at it like that. Why is it not driving there? I was looking through it all and just picked it all out. Really? <laughs> no. Oh, look, Stemp's car's been repaired. Action. Are you ready, Stem? No. We did really bad with a manta ray. It wasn't really handling that good, really. These tyres, no grip at all. For some reason, every lap, the trim was different. So, I don't know. We'll give it another go. We might change over the tyres. Uh-oh. Let's see how Stem uh -oh. gets on with the old... Cougar, baby. Is it a cougar? Get your ass piece over there, Stem. Last one. It's not on there anymore. But we come last. We're going to try and do better in the next race. Here he goes. <laughs> Anywho, we're all charging up. It's a little bit slidey. Vinny's lent me some of these. We're gonna chuck these on the back and these on the front. And hopefully we're gonna get a little bit more grip. So we are getting ready for race number two. So we get three qualifying rounds and then you get put into finals. A the best and B, C, D. So we wanna try and get into the A obviously. Probably won't work. But we will see how we get on with the new tires. Bang good servo is fast. <laughs> We've got 21 laps and the fastest person, Michael, 22 laps. There he is, the winner. <laughs> That's right, we only one lap behind. We could make the eye final with the trusty manta ray. Right, here we go, round number three. Next, we've got the finals. We've got to try and get it in the eight. Here we go, there's the old finals, and oh, look at that, somehow we made the old manta ray into the A. Oh, there we go, Stempy's doing his final. Go, 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 go! There he goes, Neil! Oh, carnage going on, marshals everywhere. Stemp's in second. Go on, Stemp. Oh, Stemp's in first. Oh, and he's upside down. Oh. Game over, son. <laughs> Where are you going, Kev? We are in the A final. Ooh. With the jalopy. <laughs> and we're going to come last. Manta Ray stroke top fourth. Yeah. <laughs>
naked now. Without the body, there's the body. Oh, oh no, look, the poor body, and you can't buy them anymore. I wanted this to stay a shelf queen. And anyway, position wise, we came last again. <laughs> What's the boss got? Oh, look. One well, of them must be for Stempy. Oh, it's all, it's all getting a bit professional here, boys. Really, you feel like you're missing out. What's that, on a trophy? Yeah. Got too many. <laughs> <laughs> <Three minutes. laughs> They're in the loft for Let someone else have a chance. <laughs> that, that is a look of a proud man. <laughs> you <laughs> taker. The F1 top spot buggy champion for South Camps is Stuart Knight. <laughs> so this is supposed to be the world's best mini monster truck. It's supposed to do backflips, wheelies, Donuts, car crushes, all in the comfort of your own home. So in this video, we're going to set it up. And we're going to take it out for a rip and see how good this thing really is. So I am a complete monster truck fanboy, and it's been my lifelong dream to own a real monster truck. So uh, here we are. And I am attempting to build the world's best one. And I'm also completely obsessed with RC cars. So we've got giant RC monster trucks, medium-sized ones, but there's never really been anything available that you can use indoors. And Tom Lee actually actually made one out of a crawler. I saw the video and I thought, well, I've got to build myself one. So I did. And then another one. And then another one. This one here, just like on the real monster truck, we've got four wheel steering, four link suspension, two solid live axles, drive shafts running down the middle. This one here is actually brushless powered. A realistic looking chassis. And now there's a whole online community, Facebook pages, loads of people making YouTube videos about their own creations of these little mini monster trucks. And no company has ever made a ready to run version. You always had to sort of make him yourself out of crawlers and bits and bobs from different things. But Fury Tech have come out with this. This is a prototype. Look at that, we've got an aluminium transmission, great big brushless motor. Well, a lot bigger than the motors that we got in them anyway. Double shocks on the corners, carbon fiber chassis, metal drive shafts, four link suspension, solid axles, it's got it all. So in this video, we're gonna set it up, we're gonna get some wheels and tires on there, we're gonna get it running, and then I wanna see if we can do some realistic little Monster Jam style freestyles indoors. So first of all, we need to put some wheels and tires on it. And on these ones here, I kind of made them out of some toys and hot glued bits together. So on this one here, Tony from CCXRC has sent me these 3D printed wheels. Here we have a little monster truck kit. It's not RC, it's just something that sits on the shelf, but apparently the tires on these are perfect for the mini monsters. So here is the actual kit, but we don't need any of it. The only bit that we need are the tires. Now the other ones. Boom! Boom! Oh, check it out, guys. All that we gotta do now is get the battery in there and hopefully we can let it rip. So Tony from CCXRC, he has made me these little bodies here. So this here is a Chevy C10, a replica of my full-size monster truck. And what I'm planning on doing actually is building a replica of my big truck. So this body here with this cab, it won't actually fit on there. There's a couple of C10s here. Oh, look, look, this one is cut out. So once Fury Tech come out with a proper chassis, then hopefully we can get that to fit. I also want to modify it in a future video and make it four-wheel steering. At the moment, it's only front steering, but I think there's no reason why we can't anyways get another axle like that, shove it on the back and have four-wheel steering. Oh, look at that. Tony's also made the monster up body and an Escalade by the looks of it. Yes. And some crushed cars. So we're going to give them a go a bit later as well. Probably have to chuck a little bit of paint on there and then we can chuck them on the floor and run them over. So a massive thank you to Tony from CCXRC. I'm going to put a link down below to Tony's YouTube channel. He's completely monster truck nuts. He's got RC monster truck law. Go over there, check him out, give him a little subby and say hello. We should be able to do front one break in the air. Oh! Guys, this is lively. It's definitely too fast, but I think... Oh! Butt landing. <laughs> Check it out, guys. They could do some rear wheel steering. We're going to do that in a future video. I think we need to turn the speed down a little bit. It's almost too fast. Look at that. Oh, 
definitely way too fast. You probably thought you'd never hear me say it, but this is supposed to be a scale monster truck. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the controller and we're going to limit the power and make it a little bit more slow and a little bit more realistic. Then we're going to build a little mini indoor freestyle track. And then we're going to go and let it rip. Yes. So we come into the radio, onto right, and we go onto throttle and we turned it down to 46%. Hopefully that's going to be more realistic. So now body on, track build, and rip. So there we go, body's on, we've got an elastic band on there and a little bit of tape to hold it on. It's only a prototype, but you're going to get the idea. So next, let's build the track. Here we are for the Monster Truck Freestyle Competition. Are you ready? Go, 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 go! It. No big deal, only that bit there. It's gonna be an easy fix. In the last video, we did this. I can't really blame the car for it because I did hit a solid metal post. But in this video, we have all the spares. We're gonna fix it. We're gonna take it out for round two. Give it absolute hell and see if it actually does raise the bar or if it's gonna be a disappointment. So we gotta fit lower arm, upper arm and shock shaft. <laughs> On coming off. Jesus. It's getting it now. Jesus. Why won't it come off? Come on! The power of Glavage! <laughs> it's not moving at all. That is not budging one millimetre. How are you supposed to get it off? Oh! I've smashed my Allen driver. Damn you! Right, you're off! Guys, the problem is inside here. They've made that hole too small. So it's actually wedged on top of the thread. And if you look at the thread there, look, you can see all the plastic from the rim actually in there. And because that hex is on there, you can't even unscrew it. The only way of getting that off is forcing it off. So what I recommend you do is if you do ever manage to get the wheels off, is make that hole a little bit bigger so that wheel just falls on and off. So I'm gonna use a body reamer and just go in there and slightly open it up a little bit. Here we go. Boom! Raising the bar in maintenance. Not. Another thing we're gonna do in a minute, in the last video, you would have noticed this car is actually really slow. So we're gonna put a bigger pinion on the motor. So these here are pinion gears, and the bigger a gear you put on the motor, the faster it's gonna turn the wheels, the faster the car's gonna go. But first, let's get all this lot fixed, then we'll gear it up, and then we'll take it out for another rip. Oh, don't round off. Oh, don't tell me it's made out of crap material as well. Yeah, I think it's my fault. Didn't put it in far enough. It looks like they made these arms out of Armour 8S plastic, <laughs> AKA glass. Ow. Of course that one doesn't want to come out. Just get it 
stove out of the way like that. I'll tell you what does look nice though, is that these hinge pin arm holder things, they actually made a metal inside there, look. I think we're probably going to have to straighten this before we take it out, because otherwise it's not going to come out. If you hit it over the top of a table leg, it makes it easier. Right, that'll do. Tiny. That's what she didn't say. Next, let's have a look at the gearing. So on there was a 13 tooth pinion. We're gonna up it to an 18 tooth. And it might not look like much, but you watch. That's gonna make it so much faster. Perfect. There we go, ready to rip with more speed. All right, let's go. Let's go, Brandon, I agree. Yeah. Here we are, on location. So those arms were actually a right pain in the butt to put on. But we're on there and hopefully it's gonna last more than five minutes this time. All right, new gearing, see how fast it goes. Whoa, that's woken it up. Ah, oh, that's rapid now. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Man, that new gearing's broken it up. Oh! Uh... Man, it's ripping now, so lively. That definitely needs gearing up. Stop gearing, it was really slow. Now it's got the power. Hopefully the motor won't get too hot. If we overdid it, it might catch fire. Oh, that's ripping. Oh, tree there. Oh, 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 oh. Is the arm gonna be okay? Yep, looking good. co rally tough. Oh, 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 no! Oh, oh. <laughs> Whose fault was it? Blame me. Yeah, Everyone always blames me anyway. Oh, look, your spring's hanging off a bit. Yeah. There you go, fixed okay. it. For some reason with it, it's the steering's out now, but... Right, so this is the look. Why is this stuck out there? It's got this on. Oh! That's the difference right there. Oh! Yeah. He's noticed it. Corrali tough, baby. Oh! Yeah, do it before it gets worse. All right, skater. You're getting it now! There you go, A.S. Hey, Steve in the house. I'm still here. He's still here. Here's A.S. Steve's little granite. Oh, is that it? Oh, Game over. Oh, no, we lost drive. What's happened? Why has it lost drive? <laughs> Hello. I think it's all right. <laughs> We've got some jumps over there. <laughs> what have you done? Dad got to go get it. Ah, oh, look at the mess. Right. Is it stopped working? Oh, your shock's off. No, that's all right. We've done that earlier. Oh, all right. On and off, back in action. Oh, there we go. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, look, that arm has broken again. Second arm, second outing. Co-rally tough. <laughs> oh, I did hit an X-Max flat out, so... Can we blame the Corrali? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's definitely getting in now. <laughs> what it did still going though quite tough oh you can't park there <laughs> back in action so we're gonna chuck on a new arm and then we're gonna take it out for another rip Boom! There we go, all fitted. There's the broken one. Let's carry on ripping, yes! Quick speed run location. And then we're gonna hit some bike jumps that we found. Come on, lady. <laughs> so what do you think it's gonna go? I reckon this could burst into flames. All right, I'm gonna go with 50. Yeah? 40 there. Uh, 48. <laughs> 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 oh! 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 Alright, next location. Check out this location here, loads of jumps. Any bike people gonna complain? Don't, because Craig over there, he built it and he said that we, we can play up here. So we're all good? Yes! <laughs> we're Craig in the house, the man that built the skate park. Or BMX park, what's it called? Oh, okay. <laughs> Anyone wants to tell us off? So we got to try and jump that, thread it through there and land it nicely, which probably won't happen. But durability test, people want to see how tough it is. To the moon, oh my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> looking like under there oh good at the minute co rally tough craig reckons that one is the one where it's going to go to the moon <laughs> flat out <laughs> oh my god oh and it lands on its wheels what do you reckon of that they're beautiful <laughs> <laughs> there is another skate park up the road somewhere that Craig helped build. It's underneath a bridge. I think it's got a loop de loop. And uh, so we're gonna save it for that. Right, next location. Here we are, next location. We was here a minute ago with the X Max and done some slaughtering. So over here, look, we've got a loop de loop. So we're gonna give that a little go. Right. Oh my <laughs> I have a challenge. We have to hit this backflip. Hit the tyres on the ceiling and then continue to backflip and land down there on all fours. What do you reckon, Stan? Are we going to pull it off? No. Oh. oh, here we go. Loop the loop. <laughs> do you reckon you can jump this and go through the gap? Oh! oh. Got boo-boo? Oh, shock's off. Skin it now. Oh. 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 What the hell happened here? Oh. Ah, prickly. We gotta make it round there. Watch out, we should do for bash. Oh. It's game over. <laughs> so viewers always want to see a damage report. So let's have a look. Uh, oh, it's broke a standoff. Is that just a screw going through there? Another front arm's broken. Chassis is looking perfectly straight. What do you reckon, Claire? Hang on. 
need armor parts. <laughs> In this video, we're going to upgrade it with some RPM arms. That should make it a little bit stronger. Also, the only really downside that I could see from this truck is the steering was painfully slow. So, we've got a Banggood special servo. Loads of speed, loads of power, dirt cheap. So next, we've got to get all this lot here back together again. Boom! That's the front end all back together again. Next, let's get the rear ones on. Boom! Check it out, guys. All those arms on there now, all the way around. So next, let's get the faster servo in. So here's how slow the stock servo is. It doesn't seem too bad on the bench, but when we was bashing it, it just seemed really, really slow. Anyway, let's get this one in. Check it out, guys. All metal cased, metal geared. Next, we've got to plug it into the center of the servo. Whoa, check that out. Check out the speed of that. Bang good tough baby. There we go, that servo fitted in there absolutely perfectly. All right, let's go rip. Here we are. <laughs> Last video, my brother had a go on it and he can't drive RC. And you guys in the comments said, let's them have a go. So, here he is. So last couple of videos we've done in there, but this side is a different one. All right, here we go, let's do it. We're gonna have a quick go first and then we're gonna hand it over to this stem. Camera's off already. Editor Chris will be happy. Let one less camera for him to have to edit on. Oh, oh. oh that's Hang on, Stan. You're ready to die. Oh, look, that's full lock. Is it? Yeah, well, it slides that way, but not that way. You broke it already. Oh, you have. You've already killed it. Oh well, give it your best. <laughs> oh please no. <laughs> Is that the river in there? No. There, it's got it. Oh, Stempy, no, you flat out and off, on and off. Whoa, easy. This is nowhere safe to stand with him. There's nowhere safe to stand when Stemp's around. So now Stempy's actually going to try and break it. That was Stemp not try, now try and break it. <laughs> I 
Oh no, he's in the pit. Are you trying to kill us all? Oh yeah. Where is it? Oh, it's oh. <laughs> oh, and he's got it. So what's up with the steering? No, it is slow. It doesn't go right over. Hmm. Let's have a look at that. Go on then, finish it. Yeah. All right, so you guys always want to see a damage report, so let's have a little look over it. We have a, I think these just popped off. Roll bars. Oh, they've actually broken off. Yeah. So you've got these little sway bar links here, and they do pop back on. So these got RPM arms on there. This one has actually broken off, so we can probably ditch them. These ones are pinged off there. Chassis looks perfect. Shocks look perfect. Wheelie bars toasted, body posts are gone. And what is your expert opinion? <laughs> What's Temp's expert opinion? Pretty good car, so I'm sure there's going to be good sales on these things, aren't they? And what is your opinion? Where can I get one? I want one. We're going to try and turn this into the ultimate speed basher. Oh dear. And for that, we're going to be using this Arm Italian EXP as a base, and we're going to be installing this M2C Racing Beefcake Long Wheel Base Conversion Kit. Basically, it's going to make the car longer and stronger so that you can hit jumps harder. So, we're going to fit all this stuff, then we're going to take it out for a rip and see how fast and hard and high we can hit some ramps, send this thing to the moon, and see just how durable it's going to be. We're going to be hitting jumps flat out, like 70 mile an hour plus, maybe. Look at the quality of some of these parts, guys. So these chassis do have a habit of bending when you're extreme bashing. This one, however, has stayed perfectly flat. So here we have the servo and the servo mount. And look at that, a screw snapped off inside it. And I know a lot of you guys always ask, how do I get out snapped screws? You could use one of these sort of screw extractor things here. Then you can drill a hole and then wind one of these in there and that's gonna wind it out. Trouble is, look, it's way too small. We're not gonna get that in there. Here I've got these funky Japanese pliers and they're made specifically for getting out snapped off screws and stuff. Uh, but even with those, there's not enough on there to quite grip it. So, plan B. So here we have a welder. I'm just gonna weld a little piece of this welding wire to it, and then hopefully it's gonna wind out. Get this piece here into the vicage of clamped helm. It's nice. And now all that we have to do is weld that onto there. Now hopefully, if we wiggle this welding rod, we should be able to wind it out, and yes. Boom. There we go, that's better, and it still turns lovely and freely. Sort of, it'll be this. Oh guys, check out all this goodness. But next, we've got to get all this stuff here back in again. Boom! Boom! Get in there guys. Coming through, we're coming through. We're in second. Uh, we're in third, we're in third position. This is so fast. Let me go upstairs. <laughs> Alright, so on that one we come last. So maybe if we get up there, maybe we're gonna stand a chance. Don't fall off, I won't trust walking through that. Don't fall off, I'll make you fell off right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Boom for one more. Come on, in. Oh, your one? Yeah. It's really lively. Ready, steady, go! Martin's off in second position. How many laps are you doing? 
Come on, boy. <laughs> Skate park time. Here we go, next location, and we're gonna see how high we can jump it. Very high. All right, here we go, to the moon. Here we go, to the moon, where is it? This could be my highest RC car jump ever. That was some elevation. <laughs> right, I'm gonna try hit it a bit harder this time. More speed. We have inspection going on. What happened? Unplugged. Oh, just come unplugged. Plugging yeah. back in. Oh. <laughs> hey. Can I have it? Can you have a go? <laughs> yeah, all right. Next, Keelan's go. Keelan wants to go. He's gonna show us how it's done. <laughs> oh. Jesus! Oh! <laughs> Martin's go. <laughs> Martin's got to be one of the best RC jumpers in the world. Let's see what Martin can do with it. Uh, Martin's going to go flat out. We've got the Dumbo range, so we can go all the way over the other end of the field. Oh dear. Oh! What did you do? You are bad well, <laughs> What's Martin done? Oh, it's just about yeah, yeah. That was perfect. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> he said you can use has <laughs> gone off with it again. Go on, Keelan, show us that's done. Oh! Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> you? I thought you could drive. Oh, it exploded. Oh my God, oh no. Oh no, not that again. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my God. Oh! I think it is, isn't it? Oh my God. Martin, I've never done that before. <laughs> oh, that was savage. What do you make of it, Martin? It lost, it lost power in the air. <laughs> oh, look at the lipo. Look at the lipo. <laughs> oh, hey, have another lipo. <laughs> That's the end of those Gen Zs. Keelan's on it, fixing it. That's not that this, is it? Fix that. Yeah, you fix that one. Nice one, nice one. Let's see if it still moves. Oh, he's got the controls. Go on, drive it. Still works. Go on, then send it to the moon. <laughs> this is dedication to the hobby. <laughs> oh, look. Game over. Guys, we have a problem. Oh no, we've ripped it off. And, oh no, more damage. So this is my armor fire team. Probably the most fun that I've had with an RC car in a very long time. I want to fix it, then we're going to take it out for a rip, give it another durability test, see how high we can jump it, take it through some all different conditions, and just see how much fun we can have with this thing. And the goal is, is to not break it. I want to give it as much hell as possible, but not break it. So comment down below, guys. What do you reckon? Do you reckon we could do a whole video and not break it? Right, so anyway, to fix it, we've broken the plastic bulkhead, and these bulkheads on the armors. They're, if you're extreme bashing, they're relatively weak and we break a lot of them. So, I've got these aluminium heavy duty ones. Also, we broke this piece here and if you look here, it looks really thin. So I've got a wing mount here for a Creighton. It's a little bit thicker around that area, so I'm just going to cut that bit off, put it on and hopefully that's going to make it a bit stronger. Also, on the front end, top hinge pin brace, broken. So, we've got an EXB one. Also, brand new to the market, a perfect pass. Super heavy duty servo. Come on, out you come, out you come.
Oh, check it out, guys. All metal cased, all metal geared. 56 kilos of torque. We have some more specifications on the back. Quickest way that I know how to fit it. Ready, ready, ready. Boom! Oh, kind of boom. Anyway, we got the alloy bulkhead on there. I've actually fitted the M2C hinge pin blocks. These ones here that are supposed to be for a Mojave. Now, if you fit them onto a fire team, you have to get rid of the handbrake module. But I don't want to because I like the handbrake. So what I did is I got the standard mount. I shaved it down a little bit with the angle grinder, bolted it on over the top, and hopefully it's going to work. Ready, 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 ready. Check it out, we've got that lot all mounted on there. Oh, check it out, guys. The true test, because this is a really high kilo servo, the true test is how good it can steer on carpet. Look at that, like it's nothing. So if you look at the specifications, we're running it on 7.4 volts, so we've got 0.11 on the old speed, which isn't the fastest when you look on paper, but look at the torque. We have 48 kilos of torque on 7.4 volts. More torque means that it can turn the wheels better, so it might actually be faster than the faster servo with less torque. Apparently, in this video, we're going to find out if that is true. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to do a quick lap on the racetrack and then we're going to send it to the moon. We have got some Gens Ace Lipos in there. There we've got the old perfect pass servo. We're going to see in a minute how well it does. And then we're going to hit the skate park. You racing? Anyone else playing or is that it? Everyone gone? God, oh, we killed it. We've broken it already. Something's gone wrong. It's lost drive. Well, how can that killer diff that so easily? Gone, That's all right, mate. Oh, look at that, guys. A true gentleman. He said I can have a go on his one. You enjoy it, mate. Doing well, though. Look at that. He's a good driver. Better than me. Hey. Look, it's killed the front diff. Look at that. The front star spinning. So I back this up, take it apart and then skate park to the moon, durability test. So for now, um, I'm a tough. So we're gonna fix it and then we're gonna take it out again for another rip in this video. So we repaired it over on my live stream channel. If you wanna see a replay to that video, there's gonna be a link to that down below in the description box. But we broke a front drive cup and I replaced it with a heavy duty M2C version. Link to that in the description. Here we are, next location. We got the crew in the house and we've got in there some really big jumps. Hey, AS in the house. Woo! Craig in the house, Charlo, everyone else in the house. Oh, zombie over there. <laughs> That's got handbrake. Oh, okay. Uh, what did you just do to my MT8? Ah, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you can have a go later. Look at that, Steven has come fully equipped. So he's got X-Max, Coyote Show. Savage. Savage and Granite. Yeah. That's granite. yeah. What? You can't park there, sir. What, what happened? Right, so challenge number one, who can get it down? Oh, Jono's going to get it down with the X-Max. I'm standing out the way of him. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! What if I throttle it? Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit easier, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, nice. Well, nicely done, mate. Big nose line. Big nose line. Oh, it's poorly. It's poorly. Uh, oh, yeah, motor wires come out. We plug that back in and we'll be back in action. Fan isn't sounding too healthy. Listen to that. Is it hungry? There you go. Sorted it.
Oh no, I've never killed it again. What? Can't have killed it again. Is that? Oh, it's rear wheel drive again. That's exactly the same thing that happened before. What? It can't be. Just broke another diff cut. The question is, is it the M2C one or is it the stock one? I can't remember which one it is, but that side's gone now, look. Game over, again. I think this diff cup here's gone. Damn. If I remember correctly, this is the side that we changed. So the M2C one's fine, and the stock armor one's broken. So we're gonna get back to the shop, take it all apart, and then put another M2C one in there, and hopefully then it's gonna be all right. Maybe, maybe not. So this side is the one that broke last time, and we upgraded it to an M2C one. This is the armor one. And yes, it broke. But I have another M2C one. Here we are, next locations. We have a little play on here. And if it survives, we're gonna hit that flat out for a run up all the way from over there. So we're gonna get to 60 mile an hour and it's gonna be probably gone. All right, let's go. Yeah, all right, mate, ready? That one, to that one, to this one. I reckon we got to start going a little bit higher. Suicide jump number one. Run up from there, hit that, got to clear that. If you land on top of that bit there, it's going to be total destruction. And it's wet, so you might not get the run up. All right, heads up, people. Oh, all right, that's never going to make it. Suicide jump number two. Run up from that into that, and you've got to clear that. It's probably going to be impossible because it's wet. Man, what a beast this car is. Absolute tank. All right, here we go. Oh, <laughs> now let's go for the big one. All right, so run up all the way over the other side of the field. It's probably going to get to like 60 mile an hour. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. It's gone. It's actually gone. In this video, we're going to fit the big tyres, we're going to fit the body, we're going to get the body painted, all the graphics on there, and get this truck finished. So Ian is just mounting the body, and I'm going to help him in a minute once I've had my cup of tea. Claire's over there is relaxing. Hello. <laughs> Workshop's too small, so we've got to put it outside. What we want to do... Hold on, hold on. What we want to do is, we need to put the body on, then we've got to pick up the whole monster on one corner, flex it over, and then we can cut the arches. But this is in the way, and this doesn't work. So maybe that can make it work. Oh, hang on, no. You can go for, oh, hang on, hang on. You can go forwards a bit. That's well sketchy. <laughs> yeah. We doing, Claire? Working out where you've got to cut it. Ah, so we've got some pictures of Titan. It's got the same body as me. So we're gonna. Well, Claire's gonna, because Claire's better at this. <laughs> <laughs> so you want that bit intact, don't you? Yeah. And then it comes down to here. Oh my god, that's a lot you've got to cut out of there. Is it in the middle? Uh, yeah, it's not far off. That's about there, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the one time I'm actually going to wear a muzzle. <laughs> one and only. <laughs> this is a fashion statement. All the kids are going to be wearing this. <laughs> Big box, little box. Man, I hate fiberglass. So we just roughly cut the back one. So next we're gonna jack it up, get the big wheels on, see how it lines up, and then do whatever Claire says. <laughs> I'm the boss, am I? Right, so next magic trick, right, ready, ready, ready? Boom! 
Alright, next one, buddy. Oh my god, look! Look at look look! Look at the size of it! What? <laughs> so we've got to do a bit more cutting on the body work, we've got to do it the other side. And uh, then we've got to take it down to Tony's, get it painted, stickers. Oh my God, that is the size it's going to be, man. Meow. Just moves on that tire. The idea of flexing it so we can see what the full travel is. But it feels unstable. Mm, we're gonna try and let the shocks down. Death by monster truck. Why am I the one that's got to get under it? Your, your monster truck. truck. <laughs> <laughs> what <are we> going? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to take a lot more. So now, hopefully it's going to work, we put some more pressure in the shocks and that's going to give this side maximum travel, the other side maximum down, and then we can cut our arches out, or the fenders. So we just cut a little bit out of here, I didn't really want to cut any of this off really, because we're going to harm the face, but we've got no choice, it's either that or moving the body further forward, and if we move the body further forward, that's going to hit when we do moonwalks, like the nose really. So anyway, next we've got to steer it, to see how far we can actually steer. So Ian's donated to get in. Go on, show us. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get the more difficult job of jacking it up. Steer. Oh. oh. <laughs> Maybe a tiny bit more. If we keep it on that line, that'll be all right. So the bit we're chucking away is actually bigger than the bit that we're keeping. So next we're going to get the gas out the shocks, we're going to get the truck back down again, put the rest of the body panels on, hopefully it's all going to line up. And hopefully I'm not going to kill myself. This one might be more spectacular. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you haven't done those valves? Oh, there it goes. Sorry about <laughs> You'll face it. So now with the truck on the bump stops, we can reattach the sway bars. Ready, go now. So that should be our sway bar set perfectly. Still looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> it almost looks better slam, doesn't it? Yeah. So there we go, that is the body fully mounted now. Suspension's all the way down, so it's got to go up again. I reckon it looks so fat like this. So next we've got to put the small wheels back on, take the body off, take the body down to Tony's. Tony's going to paint it. Ash is making the vinyl stickers for it. He's doing all the artwork, so we're going to get that on there. Then put it all back together again. A little bit more wiring, a little bit more messing around, and then it's going to be ready to take it out for the first drive, learn to drive it, learn to jump it, all that stuff. And then after that, first show, UK Monster Truck Nationals. Make sure you book in if you're nearby in the UK and get your tickets. Link down below. Back in the shop again with its little baby wheels on there. Hello! It's not Christmas every day. <laughs> We've got a little bit of wiring to do on the monster, and we have the man in the house. So that is a taco we got to get working, and we got what we got, Craig. We got wires. We got some information there, and we got to get that information <laughs> to make sure they get the right bits in there. And then, is it going to work? Of course, it's going to work. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> right, so temporarily we've got it all wired into the loom. So hopefully, well, Craig over there reckons it's going to work. Of course it is. Of course it is, he says. If you're not confident, it'll never work. So we've got the old block heater plugged in. We've got the engine warming up. So 45 minutes on that. We're going to give it a quick little fire up and just see if it works. <laughs> 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 oh, you ain't calling that when he comes back. 
<laughs> He's laughing now, he won't be laughing in a minute. So while the block heater was heating up the engine, Craig took Vinny out in his crazy Cosworth powered Mark 1 Escort. Woo! Listen to that anti lag. You still breathing? <laughs> what are you making of it? That's wicked. So Vinny is a designated driver. Put the ignition on. Uh, sorry. And that's loud. My eyes hurt. My ears hurt. <laughs> that was louder than yours. <laughs> so next, I've got to tidy up all this mess of cabling. It's all way too long. I'm going to put some of these connectors on there. And in the last video, I actually put them on wrong. And a lot of you guys commented and told me how I should have done it. So first of all, we've got to install these little rubber things. And I actually put them on the wrong way around. The idea of these is to stop water getting into the seals. Next, we need to strip the wire, then get one of these connectors and bung it on the end. For that, we've got a crimp up. And then that bit there is actually supposed to crimp on with this piece. Just like that. So next, we've got to make sure that we get the right terminal into the right hole. So we're going to put this connection on and then sort of chill them where they're meant to go for now. Yeah. And then we can unplug it and push them all the way in and close the lid. Boom! So it's another day, we've got Claire and Ian back in the house. We've got to take the body off, take it down to Tony's, he's going to paint it. Are you excited? Yeah. Great trip. <laughs> What's going on in here? Take care, Hello. Yeah. <laughs> it's really nice. Yes. So we are off to Tony's from Swamp Thing 4x4. He's going to make a mould of his body actually, so when we break our body, he can make us a new body. Then he's going to paint it and get all the stickers on there. Uh oh. I think we broke the rental van. <laughs> it's just that. It's secure. <laughs> <laughs> have, you put the, have you put a key in it? No. Have you unlocked the fan? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not an angle grinder. <laughs> <laughs> here we are on Tony's location. <laughs> so this lot here, Tony's going to make a mould and hopefully paint it. Yeah. And then we just put plasticine in there. So when we mould it, you actually know where to drill out all the holes. Everything that's going to be ready to go. So all your weird arches will be pre-cut, so you won't have to keep doing that. Oh, I can't do fibreglass. I hate fibreglass. <laughs> but the way they made your mould, so that... So the top yeah, this is, is horrible. Bit, yeah, it's how they've done it. So I'm actually, gonna, when I make it, I'm going to fix this a little yeah. bit anyway. So is that going to be on your channel doing all that? Yeah, yeah. So I'll be yep. doing this, how to fix it. But yeah, it's the first <laughs> time you've been down there, isn't it? Yeah. You said it looks a lot bigger than when you, what you thought it was going to be, especially the office. You thought the office yeah, was Yeah, that small. looks small on these videos. So if you want to see this painted, and you're going to stick it up as well. Yeah, I'll get, get BK graphics to do the graphic ones on it. Yeah, so Tony's channel, link down below if you want to see all that happen, that's where it's going to happen. I'm really busy, I'm filming. Wow, we, there's some big cuts in there. Oh, Claire, this is some footage here, it just looks like I'm not lazy. <laughs> look, really busy I am, look. <laughs> getting a heavy bit. Not really, really heavy bit. Not really heavy bit. So while Tony's painting the body, we've got a few more jobs to get on with. So all the wiring is now fully done. And look, we've hidden it all away to make it all nice and neat, and nice and tidy. All this mess under here, look. All nicely tidied up, up here. We've sorted all these cables out. We've got the taco working. But coming around here, we have a problem. So this limit strap here is what stops the shocks overextending and pulling the piston off on the inside. Trouble is, where it's mounted, it's sitting in between the chassis and this hydraulic valve block thingy-majig. And that's probably going to break it, so we're going to have to move this at some point. And to get it out, we need to jack it up. So I need to make an adapter so that I can put it onto my jack. Yeah. 
now we've got the big wheels on it, we can use this position. And when we've got the little wheels, we can use that position. So next we've got to get that jack over to the front so we can jack the front up. We need to get this limit strap out of there. Have a look how we're going to do that. So we've got to put our new pole in there, jack it up, have a little play with it. It would help if the door wasn't there, but oh guys, we need a bigger shop, we're out of space. We are looking, as soon as somewhere suitable comes up, we're gonna move into a bigger place. But for now, we just have to make do. Now we can put that into there and jack up. So you got this strap out of there now. So next, let's take this off and see where we can move it to. Hmm, where can it go? Probably up here, maybe. I want to jack it all the way up, the limit strap's off. These are 30 inch travel shocks. And I want to make sure that we're actually going to get 30 inches of travel. And then you put the limit straps on, and you're supposed to limit it by a couple of inches so that you don't rip the piston off the top of the shocks. That's still only 26, but this is limiting it to like, I think we need longer straps. So that's probably still got more to go. That's So, just been doing a little bit of work off camera. So I've put in a handheld fire extinguisher here, and also I've started to plumb in a plumbed in system. So you pull the handle here and it sets this thing off here. Now we've got some nozzles. So we've got a couple of nozzles on here that go over the engine. We've got one there that goes over me and another one over there that goes over me and one there that goes over the transmission. And then coming around here, I've made a guard for the supercharger because you have to have this to protect the fuel lines. In case that belt breaks, you don't want the fuel lines getting ripped off. So Tony from Swamp Thing 4x4 has been working on the monster truck body panels. There's a video on Tony's channel, link to that down below. And while we're waiting for that, we've been a little bit more busy on the trucks. Just had all this stuff here come back from powder coaters, so we've got to put some of it back on. So here we've got an engine stabiliser, so I'm going to put that back on. Actually off camera, hold on, let me put the torch on. I'll make this guard here to go around the flywheel. Some more bits here come back from powder coaters to hold this tank on. So let's get it all fitted and head over to Tony, get the body, get the body fitted. And then guys, it's going to be time to test the truck out properly. Yes. Guys, we're pretty much finished now. We've just got to wait to get the body back from Tony. But off camera, I made these little brackets here to hold the seat shoulder pads onto the head pad things. We zip tied everything down to stop everything from moving about. And all a bit of zip tied under there, just holding up all the hoses and cables everywhere to keep them out of Tom's way. Right, let's head off to Tony's, pick up the body. Hopefully he's gonna give us a little guided tour of his Swamp Thing workshop. Uh, then we're gonna bring the body back, fit it, and then next video, it's gonna be our first little proper drive. We are on our way to Tony's Swamping 4x4. Can't wait to see his body. I've seen the Facebook pictures. Oh man, it looks so good. Can't wait to see it on the truck. But he hasn't got the stickers on there yet. So we're gonna get the body back with no stickers, and then Sticker Man's gonna to come to the workshop and put the stickers on then. So the grand unveiling of the name. And what all the artwork's gonna be is gonna be at the UK Monster Truck Nationals in Santa Pod, so make sure you're gonna be there. We're gonna miss it. The Talbot pub. Hey, here we are in Tony's shop. Hey. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at this, here's the front end. So this is gonna go chrome, actually, but the stickers are not going on it just yet. So test day is gonna be like that. 
and then we're going to stick it up for the main day. What do you reckon of it, though? I reckon it looks amazing. <laughs> Ferrari Rosso Corsa. Because when you was on about the red, I said you've got to pick a nice one because some of them look a bit orangey. Yeah, there's definitely no orange in that. No. I reckon you should give us a little guided tour of your Swamp Thing man cave. Uh, yeah, so this is, this is me. Uh, normally, I've got my tractor unit on the front, but that's just up the end at the minute. So this is my trailer, um, which I use to take my monster truck from show to show. Yeah. Uh, we'll take you in that in a minute, but Ooh. this is where I do all the, like, the fabricating with metal, is in this part of it here. I saw that on your video, actually, when he's making these things. Yeah. So there's steering knuckles. This is what I break a lot of at the minute. Oh. These, these are the half shafts, so that, that there's a little yeah. pin in there. You can dot that out, and that piece will come out. <laughs> so, guys, Tony's going give to give us a quick guided tour, but if you want to see anything in great detail, Tony's got a YouTube channel as well, and we're going to put a link to that down below. Check it out. Yeah. He shows loads, how to make bodies, diffs, everything. Yeah, yeah. so like, this is bits of my monster truck that I've broken. <laughs> there's, there's another monster truck up there, look. Who has a monster truck up on the shelf in their workshop? Oh, who? <laughs> is that Swamp Thing 2.0? Yeah, so it's, it's almost the same. The design of the chassis is a little bit different at the bottom, but yeah, it's a slightly longer wheelbase on that one. Did you make that chassis, or...? Um, it was originally made by somebody else. Yeah, and, and you modified I, I, it. I, I modified it a lot. The only thing I'm probably going to do on it is I'm going to chop off the front of it again and make the front shorter so you could do a nose wheelie. Ah, yes. <laughs> um, the problem with Swamp Thing at the moment, if I try to do a nose wheelie with that, where, yeah. the, where the wheels are on it, yeah. the chassis comes out too far out the front of it. And it dig will, in. It will dig in the ground. Yeah. Look, so, the tyres everywhere, look. Yeah, I've got lots of tyres, six pie, good years. That's got some cleatage. Yeah. Oh, now we've got, now we've got itchiness. <laughs> <laughs> um, my, my workshop isn't dust free, especially in the minute after doing your stuff. I think I've got a fiberglass allergy. Every time I touch fiberglass, everything goes itchy. Yeah, uh, so yeah, so the North 66 is there. Yeah, oh, this thing, that's actually on your channel as well, isn't it? Yeah, this is my daughter's car. She's building this. So this was a, an old London taxi. Yeah. Which we're turning into a, a 1932 hot rod. Yeah, so V8 engine. Yeah. A lot of work's gone into this. I'm really enjoying that build series. Yeah. So if you want to see that in more detail, Tony's channel. Here are the welders I use, so I've got a TIG. Oh, um, that looks a lot more professional than what we've got. <laughs> Mine are like some little Banggood specials, what I use. These are like proper boys. Yeah, so and then you've got the plasma cutter on the top there. That actually looks a bit like my TIG welder. I've actually got a Parwell TIG welder. Yes. Uh, yeah, so the lorry, all the spares are in the bottom. I'm going to have to build all this eventually. Yeah, so these are all the parts in there. So you've got like the prop shafts, half shafts. That looks like the thing that I just made. Yeah, that is. That's what sets up the suspension. Yeah. Um, all the nuts and bolts, brake pads, everything in there, gazebo. Yeah. That's where we've got the shop. Have you done a video, actually, where you've done a whole tour of your trailer? No, I haven't. I think you should. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> actually, I'm really intrigued by it. What's in there? That's the exhaust for the generator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you've built this, didn't you? Yeah. Everything on this is filled up. There's no yeah. spare bits. There's of... spares in there as well, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, spares all the way across here, so spare winches. So these are the guys, the VK Graphics, they wrapped this whole entire trailer. But these are all parts of monster trucks, so these are all the broken bits, but there's still good bits in there. These exhaust systems, shop exhaust. That is <laughs> No, they're, they're off a... a... Legend? No, 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 these are off a 4x4. And this is where I do all the fiberglass in the Oh, room. the itchy room. I've seen quite a lot of this this room here in the video, in your videos recently. Yeah, so there's, there's the front bumper. Oh yeah. When we start off with fiberglass, we just start off with that. This is all the resin that's in there. That's all the chop chop mat. So that's a oh, thick one. that gives me anxiety looking at that. Oh, look at all the dust coming out. Look at the camera, look. <laughs> Flash shows it more. Because <laughs> you've got the torch on, haven't you? More tyres. More tyres, yeah. I've got a fair few tyres. Let's evacuate the torture chamber. <laughs> <laughs> or are you getting itchy? Now? Yes, just looking at it. <laughs> the other good thing about the trainer is, so on, the, in, on there, that's where the gas bottle is. Yeah. There's a water tank across here. All the electrics are there. In the top is the air conditioning, because you've got air conditioning in your trainer. Oh. You coming? Yeah, yeah, we're coming. There's monster truck in there. Oh, there's that Swamp Thing, look. Oh, you got headlights in it as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it all fits in. So the tyres are at the back. And there's all the, all the spares and everything are all around. The, so like my toolboxes are all around the side. Yeah, so you've got the tyres all the way over there. Yeah. All the way back there. We zoom right in. Going so, up they, so they stack on one on top of each other, on the other. Where do you sleep? Sleep this way. Woo! <laughs> so, yeah, so this is a little oh, accommodation. Bedroom. 
So that's a bedroom up there. This makes it into a bed as well. Yeah. And um, that moves that way, doesn't it? Everything moves, even the floor. Yeah. So when the monster truck's out, all this slides back to make the room. The, the living room is 21 foot long when the monster truck's out. Well, yeah. So, that's, so all this is like all the way over there. Yeah, everything. But you can still use it like that. But yeah. The cross across the end. Yeah, and we've got bathroom across the end. And toilet and shower and that in here. Oh, look at that. Hello. Yeah. Man, this is posh. And you built all this yourself? Yeah. Is there anything you can't build? Uh, gearboxes. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm jealous. I'm a little bit jealous. So that is the mould that Tony made us. So when I break my one, hopefully not anytime soon, then Tony can make me more. And you put all the stuff on the inside, but you have to check out Tony's channel if you want to see how it's done. Who would call a car dealership that? <laughs> he obviously did. So we got the services. We went and got a Greg's pizza. Absolutely disgusting. Can't even eat it. it tastes like it's like 10 years old. How's your one? Not great, not great. Oh, oh no. We've just entered the UK's biggest car park, the M25. All right, see if this place is going to be any better. What do you reckon, boys? Is it going to be any better? Let's hope so. Yes, now we're talking better than Greg's. Boom, we have arrived, and Vinny is going to help us lift it on. Oh, that looks rubbish. Ah! That is well good, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. No cameraman, but we have got a tripod. Vinny's found the merch. I don't think I'll get it on. It's child size. Here you go. <laughs> your head through and now roll it down no don't break it put it on my shoulder oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 guys oh, that looks good. so good already so next we've got a bolt on these bits that we powder coated onto there and then we can put the front end on bedsides back waffle 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 There we go, all mounted up. So next video is me learning how to drive it. Oh man, check it out. Can't wait to see it with the big wheels on there. So anyway, next video, we're gonna be putting the big wheels on it. We're taking it to Santa Pod to learn how to drive it, hopefully not destroy it. And then we got our first show. So that is it for part number two. Coming up soon in the new year is gonna be part number three. Subscribe, smash the bell so you don't miss it.